Oh, I know if I can hear you. If okay. I can't, then, then I'm going to unplug it. You can finish it with the microphone on the iPad. Then after that, we're done until I figure this out. I don't know what else to do. Okay. I put everything new on here. Okay. Hey, y'all. Can everybody hear me? We want to make sure we got sound before we before we get started. Uh, Patrick says sounds great. Well, you can hear it on your phone. I'm turning it down. Well, no, there. but I want to know if you're talking on the microphone or on that microphone. I can tell okay. when I hear it. Turn it up so I can hear it. Okay. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Patrick. Cindy. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Patrick. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> no, turn it back down. <laughs> we just want to make sure. Want to make sure we had sound before we started this again today. The last couple of weeks have been pretty, you know, been kind of a, a, a pain in the butt. And uh, like it's not like we have, uh, not like we have all the latest equipment. <laughs> We're kind of ad hoc here. Uh, but we wanted to make sure that you could hear us this, this time around. So, how's everybody doing today? We're, uh, we're fixing to get a storm here just any minute. That's why we're on the back porch today, or the lanai, <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. Uh, but, um, but yeah, they uh, said we're going to have some heavy wind and heavy rain. And so I, I don't believe their, their time period is right, but we'll see. Because, uh, you know, I've heard everything from... From 11 o'clock to 6 o'clock. So, but I am, um, it's getting pretty dark here and, and the wind's picking up. So, and it's, they said there's a very small chance of, of tornadoes like they've had up north, um, but possibly heavy, heavy wind damage. So, and heavy rain. So, we'll see. Um, we're kind of nice. It's kind of nice in here. We can watch, watch it blow around and, and we don't have to be out in the, in the elements and, didn't have to worry about having to move stuff around because uh, if we'd been out, out front and it started, we'd have to move everything. So we just started back here, um, if that's okay. And, uh, oh my goodness. Um, Mark Ryan, Frank Lowe, um, Laura. Oh, 36 degrees and cold rain in Chicago. Oh, honey, I feel for you. I do. It's been, it, we've had pretty nice weather. We get a rain every once in a while, but we've had pretty nice weather. And I think this is, um, they're talking about this being a heavy rain, which is going to be two inches at the most, I think. <laughs> but when it rains in Florida, it's not like it is everywhere else. It just comes down in sheets most of the time. And that's kind of scary if you're not used to that. I, I know when I first came down here, it was different. Uh, and not, you know, not bad, just different. Uh, and I said, but we are supposed to have a really um, serious hurricane season this year because of the El Nino changing into a La Nino or whatever. Um, nice, it's supposed to be pretty, pretty serious hurricane season. So I'm uh, waiting to see. I said, we've been pretty lucky the last, last few years. I got, and, uh, I got to move over there. Okay, over there. yeah. Been pretty easy the last couple of years because yeah, we, I, I think there was only yeah, my, one. I have it over there. Uh, Are you talking? Yeah. Oh. Only one um, serious storm last year that hit uh, hit the coast. Uh, and I said we didn't have much problem with it, but but like I said they said this year is supposed to be pretty pretty serious because of the water temperature. And uh, that's, I don't know much about that kind of thing. We was actually going to have. I the, it was all about El Nino. Yeah, we we're going to have the weather uh, the weather club uh, yeah. come and do a. Um, Before we go very far, I want to say. I got a couple of emails saying that I don't look very professional when I don't tuck all of this up underneath my shirt and out up here. I don't care, for one. So <laughs> stop, stop with the stupid comments. Yeah, we're not professional. Yeah, either you watch it or don't watch it. Take the information from this that you can use. and It's all free. If you don't like it, move on somewhere else. I'm at the age where I just don't care anymore. Okay. The other thing is... I was watching, the, I've been keeping up with the weather the last couple of days, and up north, uh, this has been crazy year, I think, but it is spring. They've had a major snowstorm in some of the northern states, I forget which ones, Minnesota probably, Wyoming, maybe North Dakota, I don't know. 
And uh, of course, so around basketball sectional season, Indiana always got a little bit. And then I've seen uh, last night, I think it was, major tornadoes went through into Jefferson, Indiana. Kentucky uh, and, you know, and a lot Kentucky, of Kentucky. Parts of Tennessee and, and uh, houses got destroyed and things like that. So, and here we are today, we're getting all kinds of high winds and uh, supposed to be some kind of a rainstorm today. It looks like, it, that's why we decided to go out here. It just looks like it could rain anytime. And this is that time of year in Florida, we have a rainy season where we could get a drizzle of rain or we could get 10 inches of rain in an hour. And supposedly the rainy season don't start until June. <laughs> but you never know, this has been a weird year. Um, so anyway, our thoughts are with everybody up there with the tornadoes and stuff because we've been through some of that stuff, and yeah. I know it's uh, it's uh, it's rough. Yeah, it, it's just scary. It is, especially if you're not expecting it. You know this. Um, now, I, I remember the Easter Sunday tornado. That's the big, you know, the the big Kahuna that everybody remembers up in that area. Kahuna. Yeah, that's um, how you spell that. <laughs> Well, well, I mean, everybody in that area remembers the Easter Sunday storms. Oh, and, uh, I remember. Yeah. We went to my aunt's farm up there. That's where he had to, well, they called it the twin tornadoes. It was just basically two tornadoes. And uh, that's the first time I was a kid. I was probably maybe, I don't mm -hmm. even know, 10 years old or so, 11, 12, I don't know. And I saw some of the stuff that I remember to this day. Uh, trees and where they were. I remember seeing a two before stuck in the side of a big tree, like a dart. Yeah. Um, and my aunt, uncle, where he lived on a farm, his neighbor's barns and stuff were totally gone on both sides of him. His property wasn't touched, which I always thought that was weird to this day. His animals were fine. Everything was fine. It just, they find stuff and they were, they were taking it down to the fire station. If I remember right, the stuff they would find like purses, driver's license, things like that. Mm -hmm. And come to find out some of these driver's license things were from people a hundred miles away. <laughs> yeah, I can believe that, yeah. Oh, and, and did y'all like the ride along? I, I mean, Skip said it was Nobody boring. liked to ride along. It was a boring night, but I, I thought it was kind of cool to see actually what, what goes on. You see how many I mean, views I got? 2,000 views, that means nobody liked it. Well, you know, I, I well, we'll talk about that later. I think it's the way you had it on there, but. Why are you always talking about it later when you know we're never gonna talk about it later? <laughs> well. She always says and, that. Well, I said it didn't come up in my feed. Uh, like it normally does and people all should know that been following me Monday's video Wednesday sports setting Friday's news that's the way it's been for years I live here dear I know that I'm telling you it didn't come up in my feed the way it normally does what do you mean? I don't know why I don't know what you mean when you say come up in your feed like it normally does I don't know what your feed is well when it come when it come up it, it come up every time the first video was your news Friday it did not come up Anytime. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Yeah, well, and that's what I mean. It didn't come up like it normally does, yeah. and so I actually had to look for it. Yep. So. It's really weird that my view count seems to be actually going down. Uh, so once in a while, there's a very special video that my view count actually goes up, like kidnap. Use that word kidnap. <laughs> All of a sudden, I got 10,000 views like that. And I don't like doing that because that's clickbait. But, but actually, I wasn't clickbait because it was about kidnapping happened here in the villages, that, that guy. Yeah. Um, but then when you do a police ride-along, and it says right in my thumbnail, police ride-along, Fruitland Park police ride-along. So that's exactly what the video is, and the view goes to nothing. But I'm averaging 150 to 200 new subscribers every month. But yet the view count goes down. Yeah, I've been talking to a couple other YouTubers around here, and they're telling me the same thing. That's why I try to get... My people to go from YouTube memberships to Patreon, because I think YouTube is screwing us. I can't prove any of this. But they're saying the same thing. They're saying our views are going up. We're putting out more videos now than we ever did, but our income from YouTube is going down. And I got that from four different YouTubers, and I've been noticing the same thing. Yeah. Well, anyhow, like I said, I thought it was interesting, even though it didn't, I'm glad nothing spectacular went on because I, I wanted, I was pumped. I know. <laughs> I was so pumped. You've been in the middle of a gunfight. Yeah. But. <laughs> I, I asked the, I asked the cop, uh, Mr. Height, before we went. I said, uh, "Hey, I said if you pull somebody over that's on drugs or drunk or whatever the case may be, and I said if he starts running, I said uh, can I follow you in my camera? I said because I intend to. 
He says, well, he said, I can't take responsibility, you know, for anybody getting hurt. I said, I already signed all this stuff. I said, I don't care about all that. I just want to run. I want to get as much as I possibly can. He said, well, he said, if I'm chasing somebody, he said, I really can't keep an eye on you to tell you not to. He said, if you want to come, he said that, but if you get lost, he said, you're on your own. I said, okay. And then nothing happened. Well, and I said, that's a good thing. That that shows, you know, that the, the people that said that, well, there's one guy that said that they thought it sounded like it was worse than the Bronx down here. No. And that's not the case. No. I mean, we, we report when something like that happens, but, but very little happens for the amount of people we have here. The, the thing about Fruitland Park, the reason why I wanted to ride with them was, is because part of the villages falls under Fruitland Park's police protection over there. Pine Hills, Pine Ridge, that whole area over there. So I wanted just to show that that part of the villages, and if you saw anything in the background when I was talking to him, we were in the villages at that time. I don't even think we passed a golf cart. There was nothing going on over there. And, he, and, you, heard, at nine and you heard him say, he said, generally it's pretty quiet, nothing yeah. ever really going on. Um, my next ride along, if I can get one, there's two of them I'm thinking of, and I may not be able to get none of them because you got to really pull strings, is Wildwood Police Department because they cover the whole southern section of the villages down by Finney and beyond. And then I'd like to do Sumter County. Um, Thank you, Jerry. And that could be easy peasy or maybe not because the people I used to know at Sumter County, I'm sure they're not even there anymore. And that's kind of covered by the sheriff's department. Yeah. yeah. And Sheriff Farmer, I think he's retired now. So I don't know. We'll see what we can do, but I'd like to do that. And I'll tell you something else. I apologize for some of the camera work on the ride along. That's the first one I've done here. And I didn't know what equipment to actually use at night. Daytime, I got a little better idea, but at nighttime I didn't. And so I learned a lot. So next one should be a little better. Yeah. And congratulations to Chief Luce. I, I mean, it, he, he made it possible, and we really, really appreciate that. We didn't think it was going to happen. Well, yeah, he's retiring. Yeah. Well, and like I said, well he's retired now. Yeah, the, the new guy took, uh, took his oath the other day uh -huh. and, and took the his The new place guy, and, by the way, comes from Leesburg. Yes. Yeah, he was. Uh, no, they told me his name, but I forgot. <laughs> but we, we appreciate it. Like I said, it was uh, because of him that we were. We were able to do this at all. Yeah. And then he says, I like to ride along. It shows how safe the village is. It is. It's very safe here. There's no. It's just that sometimes we're like that guy with the kidnapping thing. When something like that pops up, this place is so quiet half the time that when something like that pops up, everybody's like, oh my God. You know, they jump all over it. And I do too. If it's news, look, I've said it before. I don't make the news. I just read it to you and show you the pictures. That's what I do. Yeah. Well, and on another point, um, Ann Welter says, Hello, Skip and Sue, going to 43 today in Minnesota with rain, and we're in a wind advisory. Wind could be up to 45 miles an hour. Yeah, I heard ours might be uh, 30 to 35 for the wind gusts, so I, I understand. Well, I thought that might have been where they had that snowstorm a couple of days ago. And, and they may have a couple of days ago. That's just, this has been it's a that time of year you get four inches of snow on Monday, and by Monday afternoon it melts <laughs> yeah. off. Well, and, and Linda, Linda sent us pictures from... Uh, out in California, where she's at, and there was snow on the ground, you know, and like I said, that's kind of unbelievable for where she's at. She's at the 6,000 foot level. Yeah. <laughs> so they have snow. Well, yeah, but I, I mean, she'd been there for several years, and she said they never have very much. That's what she said. Well, this year, I think Listen, they had Listen, I've learned over the years, old people exaggerate. Really? <laughs> but I don't exaggerate. <laughs> what do I exaggerate about? <laughs> okay. Let's see. By the way, you need to call Rodriguez and get our bushes trimmed. Uh, I I was thinking about that this morning. Um, you guys want to see the bushes I'm talking about? Look at this. I'll turn it around real quick so you can see. Remember what you're doing. Yeah. See how out of whack they are? They yes. Need, they need trimmed. They do need trimmed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, I'm kind of persnickety about my bushes because that's what people really noticed. Who is this coming in over here? Ah, Kevin and Karen. I suppose you want me to unlock the door? It's unlocked. It's oh, unlocked. I think it is. I think it is. Come on in. Get off Frankie's shirts. <laughs> oh. Retired, meet me at the village. Where'd you get that at? That's cool. Hey. That's cool. Hey. Hey, come hey. Hey. He's seen people. Hi. <laughs> 
Move stuff around, grab a chair. Hi. I don't think, no, we can't get everybody in here. I might be able to put, I might be able to put it over there. Let me try something here. Let me try something here. Okay. Yeah, we have company guys, Karen and, and, and Kevin. Um, I might be able to put it. Hi. Oh, how are you doing? And they are, there you are now, villagers. Oh, <laughs> oh you're not already? Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. People are probably hating that. probably saying, what the hell is he doing? Hi. Where's Sue at? I'm right here. Oh, cute. Okay. Now, his nails are deadly. I got to tell you, his That's nails and, and his teeth. But <laughs> Pull a chair over here and sit down. I'll try to get over here as far as I can. Okay. Come here, boo-boo. That way people can kind of see everybody. What's up, guys? Nothing. <laughs> How was the trip down? Pretty good? Yeah. Uneventful? Not, not bad. You drive down? No. No. <laughs> Fly down? Yeah. Where's the Buddy? car? The oh, that's right. You gave the car away. Yeah. Up there. We, yeah. So you got a new car? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Buddy, come here, honey. Did you buy anything American? Did you buy some Japanese piece of shit? Uh, man? A Honda. That's what I ah. thought. True American. Show everybody your shirt. Oh, yes, you got to see the shirts, guys. Oh, yeah, retired. Yeah. Retired. It says, meet me at the villages. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Hi, buddy. Yeah. yeah. You got to turn your sound down. Turn your sound off, so. Buddy, leave him alone. He'll, no, no, no. he'll drive you nuts. He likes people. How old is he? Huh? How old is he? Four months. We love dogs. Four months, yeah. yeah. Hi. Well, let's just say that he's old enough to know how to go outside to pee. But sometimes he just refuses to do it. <laughs> he doesn't so like rain. <laughs> yes, I he's guess. still a baby. Yeah. yeah. He's old yeah. enough to know that he don't need a diaper, <laughs> but he keeps peeing to make you put one on him. <laughs> he's not that bad, but nice. I don't have any problem with him, but like said, sometimes you're in the so evening beautiful. he gets excited. Oh, you're so uh, but he's attached himself to Sue like all the other dogs did. So whenever she goes to town, he's a whole different dog around here. He really is. He'll go in his cage and lay down and sleep for. Get out on an hour. He won't even come out. Oh. Hi, buddy. Or he'll, oh, or he'll come buddy. in wherever I'm at, which is usually the studio, he'll come in there. And then he'll just lay over in the corner. The other day he went into my studio, walked in the closet, which is full of crap. <laughs> clear back in the corner, laying on top of a bunch of shoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he sleeps in some of the stupidest places. Well, he wants he's, the dark. He's comfortable. Yeah, he wants to be in the dark. Yeah. And that's how I get him settled down in the evening is I turn all the lights off and he settles down a little bit. So okay. Otherwise, he's just... <laughs> well, yeah, he's a, he's a bundle of energy. Yes, yes, he is. Yeah, yeah. we got a Honda Passport. It's in between a CRV and a Pilot. I had a buddy that had a Passport. Yeah, because I'm, we didn't even yeah. know what they were uh, a week ago, but we found out. And mm -hmm. Karen's comfortable driving it, so it's good. I think, yeah, uh, I think that's what Deb had. Is she going to be your scheduled driver? <laughs> Sue's mine. I'll admit it. I don't yeah. drive around here unless no, I have to. I, I, like to. I like to drive. Sue drives everywhere. He's my DD because he hardly drinks. So He's your like what? Designated driver. Why? Because he doesn't really drink that much. I really much. don't drink. Oh, yeah. do you drink a lot? Not a lot, but... See, that's uh, why Phil picks, picks us up every once in a while so I can drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, right I do drive once in a while. That way, if I'm driving, she'll get a margarita or something like that. Yeah, but. yeah. Generally speaking, it's just that I drove so much in my life that I just don't want oh, to anymore. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at what you did. I mean, and his, his directions are awful. She says that all the time because I want her to think that I get lost all the time. I was going to say, how yeah. can you get lost after a man who had to know where you're going? Here's, going here's where she down. thinks I'm lost. She'll say, take me to McGrover's clothing store. And I go, where's that at? I've never uh, heard of McGrover's Crow. That's how she thinks I get lost buddy, all the time. Come here, honey. Now, if she say, take me over here to Walmart that's on 47 and, or 441 and 27, yeah. I know how to get there. Okay. But I don't know where Grover's clothing store is. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. What's the matter, buddy? No. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I will admit. What a cutie. I am better at getting around in my golf cart from here north. From here south, I'm kind of lost. Well, because uh, that's what you did for years, yeah. too, right? Going to play golf, going to... to yeah. Play, yeah. Yeah, I know all the shortcuts to get there, yeah. but going down to Finney area, I get lost going down there. Right. And I drove an hour and a half going time. to work and coming back, so, you know, but that doesn't matter. 
Jose uh, makes me look like an idiot because Jose, I swear to God, he'll go from the historic site up there, and he, he was down there the other day. Yeah, he been all the way, way down the, in his golf cart. Yeah, yeah. in his golf cart. Oh, wow. Actually, he said it took somebody an hour asked him how long did it take. He said it took an hour and a half to drive down there. Yeah, because <laughs> oh, he's way up. Yeah. 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 So we yeah. have friends that live like a minute from you over here. They drive their golf cart down to the new area I all the time. We're, yeah. Once you get used to the golf cart paths in a lot of ways, it's just as fast as a car, and yeah. sometimes it's even quicker than a yeah. car. Yeah, it's going to take time. Yeah. But there's nothing more enjoyable yeah. on a oh, nice I, day. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. the golf cart. She loves the golf cart. I mean, yeah. that to me is the epitome Isn't of that, fun. You well, put you know, in that golf cart, I'm as happy as to be. Nice yeah. breeze coming through. Yeah. It's just nice. Yeah. In fact, we got to go pick it up after. I had it serviced today. Did you? Yeah. Right. Down Brownwood or yeah, Lake Brown, Sumter? Yeah. Lake Sumter's got a really nice place. You're not too far from there. No, well, no. We're, we're right between the two, so yeah. we just picked one. So I've been to Lake Sumter. We rented carts there all the time when I was uh, volunteering my time for the Alzheimer's yeah. uh, walkathon and stuff. They gave us golf carts. Oh, okay. This is, this is funny. You're going, I know you're going to have questions. They gave us six-seater golf carts. The villages did, donated yeah. them, and we had to pick them up like at 4 o'clock in the morning and okay. take them up to the polo field, and that's where the walkathon was at. All right. And I said, what am I going to do here? He said, well, you're going to pick people up that can't walk out here in the parking lot and take them all the way up to where the walk starts. Took a while. I'm sitting there. <laughs> so <laughs> they can't walk, but they're going to go in the walk at time? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I said, you're telling me i got to pick people up that can't walk and take them to a walk-a-thon. And he goes, he goes, don't ask. He said, just do it. A lot of people are contributors. And, and they do have... And they, and they do have a lot of um, entertainment and stuff there at the time. So they go for the food and the entertainment because they have a lot of okay. stuff that are, are that they people bring in, uh, companies bring in donuts and bagels and things yeah. like that. So a lot of people, they, they donate even though they're not able to do the, the walk. We did your visitors so, and they go from. for the... Yeah, it was fun. Sometimes I'd pick people up that didn't look that bad. Yeah. Hang on! <laughs> I'm all out. <laughs> We're going to cross the field. You know. <laughs> that, that's you know that's what I'm thinking. Could you imagine? Somebody's always said that he should have got a, a job as the bus driver. Yeah. And I said, no, no, no. He's not a people person. I'm not a people person. I'm no, the guy so that would stop like the bus being, and say, like sit down <laughs> or get out. So you liked being in your cab by yourself. Just well, driving here. That's the average truck driving job. You're by yourself 24-7. Right. The right. only time you see people is when you're loading or unloading. Now, you did long distance, so you were way I did every. I did everything. In my career, I've done everything. Yeah. So you were, like, gone for a couple of few days. When I was my own rapper, yeah, I could be gone for weeks at a time. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Even on holidays. I can remember once driving through Oklahoma City, I think, and watching the fireworks on the side of the road because I was headed to California for a month for a Monday <laughs> delivery. That's how come we lasted so long. He was always gone. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh. I told you he'll drive you nuts. No, he's cute. I like him. Yeah, but he does. He's just have... a big fuzzball, is what he is. Yeah, I love he's his a... little puppy kisses. He's... Yeah, and just watch it. Don't turn the puppy bites because he does have sharp, sharp teeth. You don't bite. Do you yeah, so we, we, yeah, he does. we came in last week. We took an Uber to the uh, dealership. Yeah. And this will say four hours later, we drove out with a vehicle on our plates. Cool. Yeah. So it was worth it. I mean, you know. Did you have an idea that's what you wanted before you went down? Uh, yeah, I, I did a lot of research, uh -huh. and uh, thank God they still had the vehicle there when we went in. I called the day before, let them know we were coming in, and they still had it. But it didn't mean that they were still going to have it when we came in around 1230. Yeah. Because you never know. If somebody comes in, and they want it, hey, it's a business. You know? I know when Sue got our car, and I noticed I say Sue got our car. <laughs> yeah. I don't buy cars anymore. I don't. No. She'd go and pick them. She said, I got this car. I see the red or white. Which one do you want? I said, I don't give a damn. I ain't driving it anyway. Yeah. So she said, well, I picked so the red. So as long as you're comfortable, right? Because you do the driving. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't like the car. I have to. Uh, the ink car, the car rides fine. It drives fine. The gas yeah. mileage is fine. Surprise. <laughs> Everything's fine. It's that damn computer up here on this dash. It drives me nuts. I'm just trying to find my radio station. And I got to hit this button. No, that's not it. I hit that button. That's not it. I mean, good Lord. But you eventually get it. I don't no, know. He's not in the car long enough. No. No. Uh -uh. I'm not in the car that much. Even. Yeah. Well, and you can't get a car without that now. Yeah. 
And, and I said, you know, it was a chore just to find out how to unlock the doors from the inside. <laughs> yeah, there's this little button. With, I don't know how it works, but you got to. Here's another thing. I go out to get in the what? car. I can't start it. There's no key. Push button. So start. I will tell you something funky about our car. Our car, there's no, um, to put it into gear, there's no gear shift. You push a button. Oh. Rever it's very odd to get used to. Yeah. Park, whatever. You, and to reverse, you just hit a button and the light comes on. I'm so petrified. It's when I park it, I park and I just wait a the minute. Just hoping the car's not going to go forward. And I take my foot off slowly. Okay, we're staying there. Come okay, here, oh, It's funny. You know. <laughs> and that's how they are. My girlfriend said hers is Come a here. dial. Come Years ago, Come semis, when Come they came up the automatic here. transmission, that's how they are. And that's how they oh. are to this day. And oh. there's also no park button on a semi truck. What do you call neutral? The air brake. You have to always remember to pull that air brake oh. to, to oh. park everything. Oh. And I think a lot of the diesel push your motor homes are that way too. Now, your, yours isn't like that. No, I got a gas. I'd like to have a diesel, but I just don't think I can afford yours it. Yours is the kind you drive. You don't tow it or anything. Your, your motor home. No, we, it's no, a No, we drive it. That's why it's yeah. called a motor home. Come here, come here. Well, I thought even the A ones, home I, with a I motor. I understand, but I thought, so what about the ones that they put on the back of Those are called trailers. <laughs> fifth oh, really? wheels. It's different. Fifth, fifth wheel. Oh, okay. That's probably what you're talking about. Come here. You East Coast people. Come yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah, and, and, you know, I, uh, 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 we're ignoring the people here, right? We, yes. No, no. Yes, no talk. The, the, oh, oh wow. Oh, and Mark, yes, I did watch that game. That girl is amazing. Oh. I'm telling you. Uh, I, I've never seen anything like her. Oh, yeah, she's, yeah. She, oh, she's oh, winning all kinds Kate, of... The Iowa? Caitlin yeah, Clark. Caitlin oh, yeah, Caitlin Clark, yeah. She is. She's amazing. And and I, I wouldn't, you know, if he hadn't told me about, about it, I wouldn't have known anything about it because I really wasn't keeping up much with the sports mm. stuff. And um, not since we that's, lived down here. That's my bag, sports. Yeah. Well, I, I did a, a lot when we was up home. But then, yeah. you know, when they, they started with the take a knee thing and that kind of crap, I just, I got really disinterested. Who's Caitlin Clark? Um, she is a Iowa player that, that's just breaking all records. She's what? She's an Iowa basketball player and she's just broke all kinds of records. Female basketball. Yeah. Yes. Female basketball. Yeah, she plays for the Iowa. Hall. And she I don't broke think, men's records. I don't she, believe that anything so that you have to wear makeup for can be considered a sport. They don't wear makeup. They do two oh, earrings and everything else. Oh. I've seen them. They do. She they do. Eye makeup and all that. So. And like I say, she's very unnatural. Women can't so. go outside she, the house without makeup on. They gotta have makeup. Come here. <laughs> I'm always wanting to know how many buttons I can push out there when yeah. I say you. <laughs> yeah, Jerry said you would have got more views on, on the ride along if you were sitting in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> well, originally, speaking of the back seat, originally I was going to do a ride along with the drug dog. Oh, yeah. Uh, at the end of the video, you kind of see Droby there. Yeah. Uh, somehow that got mixed up. I don't know how it got mixed up, but that's okay. Um, I just thought the drug dog would be more fun, you know, but... That was such a boring night. That was like <laughs> nothing going on. Now there's four of them now. They are multiplying wrestler. <laughs> four what? Four of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they just get the, they say, they just get the side name. of you. <laughs> I know. The picture I know. of the side of you. <laughs> yeah, we're doing the best we can do. So you want to you, you hear a great story? Yeah. We sure. don't have a household. I thought it was. <laughs> so did we. I thought the, the deal was done. Uh, yeah, 95%. Up until, Up until two and a half weeks ago or so? I don't know. It, it's No one will ever believe me on this story. But anyway. I can tell you there's an old saying my grandpa told me. Nothing is sold till the money's in the that bank. That is correct. That's and true. that is true. That is true. To they the they can back in. out. So, no. So anyway, a very long story short. The, we were 95% there. Now, where we live in Rhode Island, it's a modular home park. So you have to apply for an application. On the application, there is one subject that is pets. You can only have a dog and or a cat, and supposedly a dog so much weight, but I, I don't know all the ins and outs. So anyway, on their application, they put that they had two rabbits. 
rabbits, bunnies, <laughs> whatever you want to And that kept them from being... And they got denied. Oh, my gosh. They got denied entrance into the park. So the girl calls me up on a Monday Take crying. Give me a little boy. And she says, I can't buy you a home. So what do you what do you mean? She said, the, I, I got denied because of the rabbits. I said, you did what? I said... Well, can't you give the rabbits to your mother or a friend maybe for a month and then maybe bring them back after the fact? Or Yeah, that would make sense. No. Eat she them. Could said, eat them. She well, I can make rabbit stew. So, <laughs> yeah. I know how to cook. She was afraid if she <coughs> brought them back in that they would find out. I said, they're not going to find out. She said, well, I have hay delivered to the house. I said, well, have that delivered to your mother's house. Now, her mom only lives one town over. So it's not like she's so far away it, that, it, you know, I said, have the hay delivered to your mom's house and then pick it up from your mom's. There's all kinds of things you can do. It's not, a, yeah. and it's, it's not considered a domestic animal. So, oh. so the people that own oh, the park, they're in, it's a, a firm out of Chicago. Uh -huh. So they make the, obviously have the right. final say. Right. So make long story sit. short, sit. They, she, they, it was null and void. Call a lawyer. He wrote up a, I don't know, refusal or whatever. Rescind offer. So be, they rescinded their offer due to not getting approved. So they didn't just back out, but they had no choice. So they, they get their money back. Next time they can get approved first. You can't. Yeah, that's the unfortunate really? thing. You can't. Because in order for the park to do the approval process, you have to have the bill of sales, and if you're going to finance, which they were going to finance, uh -huh. you have to have all your finance. So this couple, which are a very young couple, they had to pay for whatever they had to pay for, the home inspection, the appraisal of our home, mm -hmm. all Every, of that Everything, stuff. everything was done. And we were going to sell the house as a turnkey, but then after the fact, we had, so we spent the last couple of weeks getting rid of our furniture, and you know is the house empty now it's empty. completely empty now and, and still for sale it's still for sale so we, okay. we had we had a somebody wants to know where that was at rhode island rhode, rhode island. island okay they've come from rhode so island luckily, so luckily luckily we had a realtor that we have worked with in the past so he came and mm -hmm. he mm -hmm. he took it over and we told him we're leaving mm -hmm. on the following week he said go ahead so he's got the key. And well, that's a real bummer. Yeah, it's, unbe it's unbelievable. It'll stress you out a little bit, knowing you got a house up there and you got... I'm not so stressed out of that. I just wish we had the check But it's extra hand. bills, right? Stress yes. Dollar bill, taxes, right. that Plus, stuff. we have to pay a monthly rental oh, fee because we lease the land there. Stressed now. out. Oh, it's raining. Uh -huh. we, had, we had to... We were selling this home at a, at a very, very reasonable price. Really? I know you said you sold it yeah. lower than... You should have because we, you just wanted to move it on. And we were right. we were giving away all the furniture, all the furniture, so, uh, except yeah. except the kitchen, my except the kitchen stuff, the uh, my pans, you know, utensils, everything else was theirs. All they had to do was walk in with pots and pans and hook up the TV. I had, Everybody's I, waiting for the interest rates to go down. You know. Ah, uh, this was the bunnies. Yeah. Well, we're That's saying that, in this I, case, this case was because, you know, I understand that because in Indiana there was such a big thing up with apartments. It wasn't really houses, it was apartments. They started putting up these special rules. What they consider to be a pet. Yeah, right. Snakes are not a pet. <laughs> right. Right. And this, unfortunately, the, the park approval process just says number of pets. It doesn't ask you... It doesn't specify which types of pets are acceptable. Yeah. It says licensed pets. So that is very vague. Very vague. So if, okay, like so you, what, when you have... A, what is a licensed pet? So a I don't know if cat. you have to do that what here in Florida. Yeah. So, so you get here. a doggy license. Like oh, she has you a, mean like, like this here just shows our dog's got a, got a uh, shot. No, but right, this, right, right, right. This one is required by Sumter County. His, his license is in his neck. <laughs> no, that's oh, a microchip. That's his yeah. Yeah. microchip. But this is actually, this shows So it. you went and you had to pay a... The, the vet actually does it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's from the Sumter County. Yeah. And right. if you've already got... So is that you know, considered a license? Yes. What? 
Yes, it's a considered a license. Sumter County requires it, the, and that's the why ID, the vet did it. The ID thing. Oh, the ID thing. That's up to you. So the tag is considered to be the license. Right, right. The microchip okay. is just to find him if he wanders I off. I thought it just showed he had a shot, that's mm -hmm. all. No, so. no, no. That shows, and that's why they do it, because in order to get the license, you have to have your rabies shot and stuff, mm -hmm. and that just one. So question, is there anybody in line here that's showing interest in that? We have one person. Go ahead, Kim. Oh. Well, from what my real estate agent told me from Saturday's uh, open house, we have a, a lady who lived in our park, sold, went to another state, and came back. Now she wants to live in the park again. So hopefully... Has she seen the house? Yes, this past weekend. If she comes back for a second look, that's your buyer. Right. Well, that's, what, uh, that's my experience. I agree with yeah. that, too. I agree with that. So. But, yeah. but we, we had to... Oh, my God. We, we gave away... The only way we could get rid of the stuff was to give it away. Because if we called- It's easier. Big Sisters, that was it sometime in April. And the other stores, they wanted to charge us almost $500- Yeah, they're, they're getting very picky. For them to picky. come and pick up the stuff and they're then they'd sell it. Picky. Salvation Army. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it was like, it was for. crazy. They charge you for that? No, yeah. the Salvation Army was also like an eight week wait. And of course we couldn't wait eight right. weeks. So that's what we did. We gave a lot of the furniture away yeah. to family and friends if they wanted it. Anything yeah. that was left, we called Salvation Army. We called- uh, Churches. Yeah. Uh, so what we did is we had our family look at what they wanted. They took what they wanted. Uh -huh. And then I put it on Facebook Marketplace as free. And people, it was like they they swarmed to the house to get So they have a 24-hour-a-day garage sale. Yeah, right? And they came. And then, but you don't care, right? You just want to get it out there. Yeah, I and then I had, a snow, I, have, I had a snowblower. 27 inch what wide that? snow blower, <laughs> right? I, it's it's worth about twelve fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. I put it on the market for five hundred. I have no buyers, not one, okay. not one interested. Wow. Are you getting the snow you used to get? No, no that's I've fine. noticed that too. Where and nobody's getting the snow they used to get. But, but anyway. now next year it might just hit you. But you know? there's yeah. a snowstorm tomorrow. So well, yeah. wet, wet snow. Wet snow. So they're going to wish so, they had. So, so my yeah, they're going to have a nor'easter, yeah. from what my, I understand, yeah. Yeah, because they're going to get 16, 24 inches of snow in New Hampshire and Vermont. Yeah, high, really? High, high and the high winds. Wow. Yeah, so blizzard conditions. Boy, so. we're going to miss that. <laughs> <laughs> Ron5850 <laughs> says, congratulations on your new home. Oh, thank you. Thank oh. you so All much. the best to you guys. Thank you. And want to know what, I did, what I, village did you buy in? The village of Buttonwood. Village of Buttonwood. Very nice place. Uh, we're only five minutes from Skip. Yeah. Buttonwood. Buttonwood. That's Buttonwood. Yeah. Say it. <laughs> I did. We love the accent. She does. She does. She does one of them things, and I, I don't. I don't know how people. Buttonwood. Start, they go Buttonwood. <laughs> they don't. They can't say T's. No. Yeah. Uh -uh. Buttonwood. Button. 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 Okay. We have <laughs> an area in Rhode Island called Button Woods. So the, all of our Rhode Island friends are like, oh, I, I'll remember that place. And, you know okay. what I did this morning? I called this guy up. Uh, <laughs> card access. This guy mm -hmm. comes, uh, he comes over to your house. And you know how you got you to gotta take the white card uh, and you got to hit the, the gate? gate? Oh, you don't want to do this, I'm telling you. Why? Just when we're going around all the gates, they're changing all the computers so that don't work. Because that guy don't live here, he has not got permission from the village's department oh. to do this, and uh, they they changed our gate, and uh, you know because everybody was doing that. Yeah. That way you can just drive up there and the gate opens. It just works. I'm telling you, they're changing computer they, systems. I oh, wouldn't wow. do it. Okay. Yeah. All right. You do what you want. It may last for a while. And, and, and they, you know, they may have found a, a, a way around that. I mean, yeah. these tech guys, they know what they're doing. Yeah. So they probably found a way around that, but. But then, you know, the villagers will just retool. Of course. Yeah, you know, it's a cat, yeah. it's a cat yeah. mouse game. Yeah, yeah. They, they've got an idea of what they want. I and, think and that is a great right. idea. I wish the villagers would do it. I would right. pay I don't have know, it on I don't know why they don't do it. Well, because they think that kind of thing would be uh, with your amenity fees and, and people are bitching about them being too high now. No. So no, I'll pay for it. Well. This guy does it for like 25 bucks. But I mean, they've much. got to pay somebody to retool everything. I mean, as far as the computer work goes, they've got to pay somebody to do that. Your card scans. 
Yeah. They could make this thing on a piece of paper somehow. Put you put it on your window on the side of your car, so when you drive up there, it scans it. It's already there. Right. But it's all like I said. The computer There's stuff people, has to be put they in. They their card and they tape it to the window. I've seen that. <laughs> My neighbor, she's kind of short, so she has her card on a stick. Oh, stop saying that. <laughs> it's yeah. like a fishing line. <laughs> but she does it because I drove with her. I didn't say anything, but it was kind of cute. She pulls the stick out, ding, because she can't reach it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I'm the same way most of the time. It depends on what. Uh, <laughs> the one that bothers me the most is, is the one there at uh, Pine Ridge. Okay. When I go over to Rizzo's. Like I said, that, for some reason, that one. It seems like I can't get close enough. Right. And uh -huh. I always have to open the door to, and it makes me crazy. And um, I was a gate guard. I was always aware of that on the yeah. resident side, that if it's raining out. And you would I'm, just be good. I just open the gate and uh, let them go through. Oh, uh, it's no big deal. Yeah. You know, yeah. old ladies that come from church, got their yeah. good stuff on. They don't yeah. want to stick their hand no. out yeah. there. And, so but I just open it up. It's so here. cute. She's got a little stick. Ding. Yeah. Yeah. I've, like, seen, I've seen them on the um, kitchen tongs. Oh, that, um, oh and really? Then, yeah. yeah, on kitchen tongs. I've seen them on rulers. You know, yeah. people yeah. have a way of, of getting them yeah. to yeah, work. So. The way out. But I like mine sliding up underneath the the um, thing on the. Yeah. Ask them about um, the glass. Like, thing. What you were going to ask them, Nancy? Or... Oh yeah. Fertilizer service. Do what? you do your own, or do you have a company? Who company? does it? <laughs> I have a company that well, does who it. Do, who do you have? True Green. True green. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Your, your choices you, are kind of limited on that. Do you like them? Do you like their service? No, I don't. <laughs> She'll tell you they're okay. I don't like them. I, I like them because when I have an issue, they will take care of it. Okay. Uh, but, you know, I and, and I say everybody has trouble with theirs, whoever has. Massey, Dean, True Green, everybody has a problem. A lot of it depends on the guy that does the work. Oh, okay. okay. You know, and, and sometimes they've got some of the laziest people you've ever seen in the world. Okay. But like I said, always before, if I have a, have a problem, they will address the problem right away. We had one guy that came here once, and I don't know if Sue called it, I didn't, that um, she said, did he spray the yard? I said, I don't know. I saw the truck pull up out there, and he put a thing on the front door. They always put a thing on the door like you yeah. know what they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she said, well, he never did pull that hose out. So she called somebody. The guy came right out. And he walked around the yard and looked at it. Next thing I know, 10 minutes later, another truck pulls up there and he came around and sprayed the yard. So the guy yeah, pulls up, yeah. stuck the stuff in the yard, he never sprayed anything. But, but like I said, yeah, they've always been very responsive wow. if I have a problem. Yeah. But like I said, it all depends on who you got doing yeah. it. You know, when I had the, had the bushes sprayed, okay. uh, and you can see how healthy they are, they just keep growing. The snowbirds are the worst. We try to warn people, but I'm always being accused of being a complainer, you know how that when you're not here, there's a good chance that guy that mows your yard knows you're not here. Oh, yeah. yeah. He may not mow your yard for months, but you're paying him every you're month him every to month. mow this yard. Yeah. yeah. And we've seen that happen right here in our neighborhood. Oh, yes. Not that long ago. Kind of going across the street. Guy had weeds this tall. Yeah. I told sense. Sue, I said, there's something wrong over there. I said, because that guy's yard never looks like that. I mean, you'll get to know your neighbors and how yeah, they yeah. do things. <clears throat> now, he's a, he's a snowbird. Well, he gets here roughly about two or three weeks later. Then there was a new company mowing his grass. So I think he was paying somebody to mow his yard, and they weren't even doing it. Wow. Yeah. So I have to say we are very ah. fortunate. When you we ate all the cookies. Here, the people, uh, the <laughs> people they? took good care of us. Yeah, he took. You get he to know all your neighbors. Cookies. They'll watch after you. Ah. Yeah. yeah. We watch our neighbors. We, this lady here, she's by herself back here. I don't okay. really know her that well. Mm -hmm. Buddy seems to like her a lot. <laughs> and I hate it. that because he's supposed to be on a leash all the time. That yeah. That's the rule. And I don't right. like breaking rules. I really don't. Oh. But back here. You I, believe that, Sue? Yeah, I don't. I don't break rules here. I really <laughs> don't. I, well, other than speeding golf cart, I do speed. Okay. But I walk him through here to pee because I don't like going out front with the leash. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Because everybody drives by in the golf cart. They all. Oh, but you're okay if you're in your own yard. According to the rules here, if you're outside your premises, your pet must be on a leash. Uh, uh, it doesn't specify front yard, back yard. But I like going back here because if you're in the front yard with a little dog like this, every time Dick and Harry wants to stop and talk to you. Oh, yeah. Well, and Betty wants to talk to everybody. He yeah. does. And I just, I ain't got time for all that. Right. So I go back here where nobody can see me and I walk Betty right out here and then that's fine. But if he here, he's got years. So I think he's chewing on, he was... If this lady is over here sitting in her chair in the back, he'll go through here. Next thing I know, I hear our lady talking over there, and I look around. Buddy's going. I goes, "My dog over there." <laughs> oh, he won't run away. He, he, he goes her. right there. Oh, he goes right through there. Yeah, well, right yeah, through there. Does he come back? 
No, he'll stay over there with her. He likes her. He, he crawls up in her lap. He, he goes yeah. and visits her. So he I, went, visit. I left yesterday, and there was a neighbor of mine walking his dog, and the dog was not on a leash at all. And then he was on the street, and I thought, I mean, I figured he should be on a leash. But I wasn't going to say anything, but I thought more, I hope the dog doesn't get injured. Like, I'm driving my vehicle. That can happen. That's why you have him on a leash. I know. And other reasons. Because I would feel awful. if Say that dog dotted out. I wouldn't have been able to stop. Well, other reasons are it protects a dog in case a coyote comes sneaking out between the houses and wants to eat yeah. your dog. Yeah. Or an eagle comes swooping down to sure. take your dog away. Uh, it's just for the safety of the pet. Mm -hmm. if nothing and Betty sees a leaf blow. <laughs> He's <Yeah>. going after <laughs> it. <laughs> Yeah, so just, yeah, we try to keep him on the leash, but back here I don't. He don't seem to really ever go anywhere over there. Yeah. He likes to go. As long as he doesn't run away. No, he doesn't run away. I never take off. him out without a leash. No, no, no cuz I, I don't have that much control no, over him. Well, out front, he's always on a leash out yeah. front cuz I know if he sees a golf cart that appeals to him, okay. if he recognizes who it is, oh, he'll run. Yeah, he'll yeah, take yeah. off after. Oh, him. it's like Debbie's dog. Is it isn't he like Debbie's dog? Little like that. I don't he know. does the same thing. He I don't know what breed he. Is. What breed is Buddy? A Shih Tzu. Oh yeah. So hers is a Shih Tzu something. Yeah. It's a. He is a Shih Tzu. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's my baby. Yeah. But I do wish his baby teeth would come out. Yeah. Eventually, yeah. about six months will start falling out. Yeah. And I said he's he's doing a lot better than what he was. But like I said, he knows you to go that outside. Question or says where did your visitors move from? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Rhode Island. Yeah. Somewhere up there. And, somewhere uh, up there. Somewhere where nobody wants to live. No, William, it's, too, it's too cold. William says, "What's bigger, the villages or Rhode Island?" I think wow. the villages. <laughs> I think the villages. Are where I don't. I tell yeah. you, it's, it's getting there. The okay. population of Rhode Island is just shy of a million. Oh, yeah, we're not okay. even close to that. So yeah. Okay. I think Rhode Island is bigger, but. I don't know about mileage, acreage. Or yeah, it, it, oh, it's kind of, isn't it well, the smallest? Population-wise. Yeah, isn't it the smallest state? Yeah, right on, a, million, so so a million people. It's either uh, us, Delaware. I don't know. Yeah. I don't get it hooked up on that crap. Yeah, so. Wrestler said, uh, now there are four of them. They're multiplying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what does he mean by they? <laughs> Yeah, now, did you count Jerry Buddy? Bell coming for a visit, right? Who? Jerry Bell. I think, I think he's coming in uh, May. In May. Yeah, yeah. I asked him yesterday because I, I I thought he was coming the first of April. He's coming the first of May. Yeah, we oh, made, okay. We met him last time he was here. We went out to uh, <laughs> Oh Shucks. Yeah, we were there. We, oh, were you there? Oh no, well we were there in December. We went in December. Oh, December. With you. Well, was Jerry there? Yeah. Jerry Bell. Mm -hmm. That was when yeah. I met him. Yeah. Whenever he was here, we all went down Oh Shucks. Okay. Rainy day that yeah. day. Yeah. Was yeah. 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 You like Oh Shucks? It was okay. I didn't you don't care for it. I it didn't think it was anything to write home about. They've changed their menu. Oh, and okay. I said, because I was kind of disappointed because I love the scallops. You don't go to Old Shucks for the food. <laughs> well, <laughs> I did. I've always said it. It's a neighborhood bar. Yeah. You if, know, if you it's like too bad it was pouring because that kind of it really dampened. It did. Yeah. It did. But, Look at it. Um, yeah. I had a nice time, if that's. As know. opposed to eating outside in December in Rhode Island. It was wonderful. <laughs> Heck, no, it's just a you wouldn't want to eat outside in Rhode Island this week. Never mind December. Yeah, yeah. well, I did eat outside in Rhode Island years ago. I forget where or why or how. Newport. I was delivering something somewhere, and it was not too far from, I want to say, a, a restaurants that was along a watery shore of some kind. Okay. Lake, ocean, I don't remember. And I had um, lobster roll. Mm. Oh, because I never had one before. Did you enjoy it? I did, but I don't know if that's the best or the worst or whatever. It's the only one I ever had. So okay. to this day, it's the only one I've ever had. And I said I've never been past Washington D.C. <laughs> that's as far as I've ever been. You know, along the East Coast. Oh. And I said when we got there, the traffic was so bad we decided to go inland. But I would I would like to see that area. You know, Rhode Island, Maine, uh, New Hampshire. Yeah. Beautiful country. Yeah, and I said, I've never been to any of those those places. Yeah. I really like to see it. So one of these days. William said there's an all woman sports channel coming up. Do you know that? I never heard of it. Well, it's about time, and and I said I, I think they're bringing in the money now that they they never made the money, and I think that's why they kept them uh, they kept them the way they did. Here's uh, my problem with women sports. What's that? But seriously, I've been watching it, and they're, and they're making a mockery of professional sports. And I don't like it. 
Do you remember, I can't think of her name, tough old lady, she was uh, uh, the coach of a basketball team, very famous. She died of cancer. Oh, yeah, oh, uh, yeah. at uh, Tennessee. That's women's sports to me, her attitude and the way she kept her team. Now you're seeing these girls playing volleyball, and they're all standing over there dancing around, making funny little comments. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the tennis players are doing it now. To me, that's a mockery of the sports. I don't like it. So I, I just don't have no interest in it. Yeah, well, you, you should watch the, this Iowa team play, and, and these girls are they're serious about their sport. And I said, Caitlin Clark, I said, she's just a phenomenon. I to think me. they should. If they're signing million dollar contracts, they should be taking the sport seriously. Well, yeah. it's just college, but she's yeah. got a lot of it. She yeah. just, she's got a lot of endorsements. But I mean, they, they just haven't they haven't promoted women's sports. No. Uh, no. And, and I said, and they've had to, the the way that the volleyball and, and tennis and all that, the way that they've become is because they it's clickbait. Basically, they've come become that way because that's the only way that they can get people to watch. I think there are certain things in my life that I was raised that women were are supposed to, first of all, supposed to be raised as ladies. And then there are certain sports that I don't think has anything to do with being a lady at all. It's about being a redneck trash. And one of them is, is what they call it, UFF boxing thing. Oh, the UFC. Round ring and punching she each other. She loves that. Kicking. Women shouldn't be doing that. She, Have you seen those women? I've watched them and I'm thinking to myself, this is disgusting. Wouldn't you be afraid to be next to them? They'd be in the Bible. Crap out in of the you. Bible. <laughs> oh, in the Bible. Oh, here God, we go, folks. God describes man as life takers. Women are life givers. <laughs> You're not going to be punching each other out. <laughs> I don't know if the Bible actually says that. I just that's a billion that. billion dollar sport. <laughs> it is. Yeah, yeah. UFC. Ronda Rouse. They have oh, one. I'm sure it's popular. Every, they every, have one every week. But that game. So did you, did you watch that LSU Iowa game? That was a rematch from last year. So last year, LSU Buddy, actually it. won. He ate all the cookies, didn't I was so glad that uh, Iowa won. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and it's not final. You know, the final four is next weekend. Men's and women. Did you guys keep up with the weather yesterday? Over where? Where? Oh, God, tornadoes are in Ohio. Over here. Yeah. No. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yesterday. In the Midwest, yeah. yeah. You were just saying that. that uh, it was... I heard a lot of people. I think all that whole system was moved. This is part of This is a southern tip of that. I think all that was heading toward Rhode Island. Okay. Be good. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a mess, they said. Tomorrow, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, this... you don't tear your house up. I hope not Still either. got insurance? Yeah. Speaking of that, let me tell you something else that's been going on. I just got an email from one of our Patreon members. That, by the way, you are too. Thank you very much. Um, she just bought a place somewhere in the village. I forget where. Anyway, it's a, it's a villa of some kind. Yeah. She uh, came down here 30 days ago, but they had to go back up north for something. Came back down. Now they're just in the process of moving in. Okay. Biggest problem they're having right now is getting their... Uh, yeah. what, what do you call that Wi-Fi that comes with a line that has a light that goes through it? That's fiber optics. Fiber optics. Mm -hmm. They got to yeah. get the fiber optics installed because he has to have that for oh, his for business. Oh, for his work. Right. Okay. While they're here, <laughs> they had a notice on their door saying somebody turned them in because they had too many weeds in their yard. They just bought this house. They're not even moved in yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The house was out of compliance. Yeah, so. it's out of compliance, which I tell people all the we time. We had that, too, at our house that we just bought last February. So it proves what I've said then, right? If you buy something, before you put your name on a dotted line, you better make sure it's in compliance. <laughs> Second thing was, they got a letter yesterday or today from their insurance company that they just got insurance on this house because they just financed it, yeah. right? Saying that they needed to put in a new water heater because they were at the end of the, end of the lifetime on this water heater or they were going to cancel their home insurance. Now I'm looking at this going, see this is what I was talking about. First it was a roof. Yeah. I said, How, where's the stop? Now they're going to say you got to put it in windows, got to change the garage door. Wow. You, talk what about, you, you talk about my accent, a, a roof? What did you say? A roof? A roof? A roof. A roof. A roof. I give you a rough. You guys on the East Coast talk about it. Uh, Kathy B, 603, waiting oh. for snow to stop. Oh, to yeah, she was it. down here. Where she, was down? she was down here. Where does she live? Uh, in in um, New uh, Hampshire. She, she, she rented a place over here at uh, Pinellas. Yeah, but she's in New Hampshire. Oh, oh yeah, she That's lives where she lives. Yeah. Oh, she just she's went in, home. Uh, she's in UNH. Oh. Yeah. How yeah. much is she waiting for, Kathy? How much snow? She said it was hard to find a house down here, a villa, for less than four to five thousand a month. Yeah. Oh yeah. In the wintertime. Yeah. yeah. Now, 
I find that really unbelievable that people will pay that, but I guess they are. <laughs> well, we rent well, some of them right. will rent even. So our house, you know, we rented our house a three bedroom, um, I guess they call that a cottage. I don't know. Like, what do they call it? It's a designer. It's a designer here. Designer. Yeah. So you actually picked everything or no? When you I mean, no, it, it was already, you know, the house was already done. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. We live in an at ease model, whatever yeah, that is. I think that's a designer. Okay. But, um, and um, I'm sure, honestly, we could have gotten a thousand to fifteen hundred more a month than we. Yeah. Uh, uh, Kathy's is Kathy's three, is to, six, six, three inches. to six inches. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's what she said. Imagine <laughs> oh, that, that. I'm not touching that one. I didn't think he got it. <laughs> I don't I'm think I have any more, honey. So I'm I think I'm I wonder out. who that woman got insurance through. Yes. Well, I just got to see about today. So I'm sure as of right now, I don't know who, oh. if they're like most people, when they go down and finance a home at the bank, which is the village is owned, somebody yeah. told me the village has sold that. I haven't found any no, evidence of that true. at all. You mean um, Citizens First? Yeah. Somebody citizens sent me an email that's saying open. the village has sold the Citizens Bank to somebody else, and I have never found evidence on that at all. So I don't say one way or the other. I they, don't know, but I don't yes. think I don't think they have either. But anyway, whenever they finance one, that's who they always recommend because yep. they are in control. Mm -hmm. But not only that, it's fast. And they have their own insurance company. So whatever you're buying, the village is going to say, yeah, we'll get this insurance on it. It's part of the financing. Oh, yeah. for, for, so know. when I bought, so, you know, I used to work for an insurance company. So I called the insurance company I worked with. They are no longer writing homeowner insurance in Florida. When we had our villa down at the new section in, um, what was the name of our village, Hunter, we lived in? DeSoto. DeSoto. Oh, okay. When we were in the village of DeSoto, we had our villa. I had Amica Insurance, um, which is the company I used to work with. Since we sold that house and then we bought this house up here, I called them back and they're no longer writing in the state of Florida because they're too saturated. And then they do that on, on occasion. I said State Farm did the same thing. Yeah, because you it's know? too saturated. Because yeah. if they had a catastrophic event, it could, in essence, wipe them out. Yeah. So they do buy reassurance to help insure. About, they, so anyway, they were, they're, oh, right now they're oversaturated. So yeah. that's fine. So I actually had to go through the village insurance. And they are just a broker. They're an agent. And they go and they look for the insurance that best suit you and your needs and they got me um but since money. when did the insurance company start getting the power to tell you what you needed to replace in i never house? heard of that well they're doing it i understand yeah. it but like i said i work for amica insurance we've never done that now yeah that, we, that's something new i've never heard um, of that either they would charge appropriately for Let instance me go to my if Discord. your roof is too old they will charge you like a surcharge if you <laughs> will Unless you get, or and not so much a surcharge, but if you have a newer roof, you get a discount. Right. So it's not that they said charge you a surcharge, you get a discount. Um, but but, but have, that's the first time I've heard of anything outside of roof. No. So, so you know, I can only speak for the company I worked with, yeah. and they, they have never done that. I've never heard of that. That's crazy. Well, I said that was, you know, that was kind of a, a real surprise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... Yes, BLB, the buddy is seven pounds now. <laughs> oh, he is a cute. Yeah. He's he's a started, cute. yeah, he started out two and a half. Hi, buddy. Was he? When we bought him home, he was two and a half pounds. It's, it's from, I don't, I don't know her real name, this is her YouTube yeah. name, Mindy W. Says, want to hear something crazy? We have set, <laughs> shut up. We had set it on March 6th, not even 30 days ago, and due to circumstances, we had to go back to Virginia and was finally able to come back to move in on Easter Sunday. That was like three Last, days ago? Yeah, yeah, two days ago. So my husband, I won't mention his name, so my husband gets a call from our insurance broker to tell us that our homeowner's insurance carrier has given us 30 days to replace our water heater. I've never heard of that. And it goes on and on and on, talk about it, you know. And she says, there's nothing wrong. Everything works great. And it, it's, it's sitting in the garage in such a way that if it did start to leak, the water would just run right outside. It's not going, It's not in the house, is what she said. I have never heard of I that. I have never I'm either, but I, I hear I more feel, and more of this. I feel for her because they shouldn't be able to dictate to you no. that kind of stuff. Absolutely not. I told Sue, and I meant it. I said, if these insurance companies think they're going to mess around with this old hillbilly, it ain't happening. 
I said, because I'll tell them, that's okay, I'll carry my own insurance. Get out of here. I'm not going to have no insurance at all. Right. What do they call it? Self-insured. Self-insured. I'll self-insure myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chet in the 850 says, hello, Skip and Sue, renting for month of July. Maybe we'll see you on the other side then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll run into you, Chet. Just let us know. Uh, let us know when you're down here. You done, you done did it when you... Had him all ago. Now he wants back over yeah, there. Yeah, buddy, he, you don't want no part of envy. And then, you, you've ate all the cookies, <laughs> so you don't have any cookies. And I'm out of I'm out of dog goodies. <laughs> Bill B. Hey, Bill B. Mm. Said, so, buddy's getting big. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's he getting is. big. He's kind, so kind cute. Of a he's a cute. He is. Go, go and see, get out. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. So we had 20 boxes shipped down from our house with the clothes and because uh, we were going to rent a U-Haul. Forget it. That is outrageous. Yeah. Really? Any more they are. Oh, my God. Unless you're going to bring your furniture with you, just bring your, uh, your get some boxes from uh, True Value and fill them up and just send it through there. It's a lot cheaper. A lot of people here I'm noticing are using pods. Yes. Yeah. I don't know what that costs. but I don't know either, but I cheap. think they do that because oh. you can get the pod delivered to your house and then you can fill it at your leisure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you can schedule it to come down where a U-Haul or a moving company mm -hmm. comes at that time. Right. Now, so the, the pods way, are only allowed to be here for, for so, so right, many but days. But I'm talking but, about wherever you are, yeah. right? Say well, you, who enforces that rule? Well, I, I don't know. I'm, well, Somebody, I, said, I bet you people call. But it's not, well, it's not cheap. How about those, uh, what is it, the CDD that drives what? through your... You know? Oh, no, that's just the uh, community watch. They don't have anything to do with any kind of deed restrictions. Oh, okay. Oh, no? I They're trying to get them to do that. Oh. But many years ago, like 30 years ago, they did. That's when the village was this big. Yeah. Now that it's this big, community watch is saying, no, we're not doing that. Yeah, yeah. So what do they do? Just Basically, we're all self-governed. If you complain to me, they're going to come check me out. That's why they don't check the guy out across the street is because you didn't complain about that guy across the street, even though he may have the exact same violation that I've got. So if you just do your thing. Most cases, as long as you get along with your neighbors and just do yeah. do what you're supposed to do, you're you, fine. Nobody's going to bother yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Oh. But I, I agree with what you say all the time, Skip. You always that I'm say, right. that I'm right. know your deed restrictions. Yeah, you because all firm, areas are different. You're a firm believer in that. Like, we live in District 8. And you know what? Yeah. We need to know. We do. And, and your and your district rules may be very very <laughs> similar to ours in a lot of ways, but there might be just one or two little things that's in right. there that's a little different. Yeah. Exactly. You know. So, so as long as you know your restrictions, you have yeah. your restrictions. And you can go to districtgov.org yep. and and find all the rules for all the districts. Yeah, exactly. You can put them out. So yeah. if you had a question, if you wanted to whatever paint your house or. Whatever the case may be, look it up. Yeah, and they've been very good or about call. that. I'm sure if you call, they will tell you straight out. They'll, they'll uh, if you go down there on Teeth. the uh, ARC Ooh. about say we have a painter house a different color. Yeah. yeah, they'll give you a palette. Yeah, they'll say what district you live in. That's the first thing they're going to ask you. What district you live right. in? And they got a thing on the computer. They bring it up and they'll uh, hand you this palette. And those you can paint your, your house any one of these colors. Exactly, okay. but no mm -hmm. other. Buddy. Well, they may even tell you only two colors because no, exactly. you may want to trim it in one color. Right. You can't have now down in the penny. They changed that down there. You can have three colors. Oh, I know. See, that's one of the little deed restrictions changes exactly. that they've got that we don't have. Exactly. Are you hooked up? Over here. So over here, so they can hear him and her. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to have you put Buddy in the cage. He's biting. He's biting. That's okay. He's biting him, and he ain't biting. <laughs> <me>. <laughs> yeah, go, yeah, go bite Daddy. Go bite him. Bite him. Bite him. Bite him. Bite him. I told you it'd be a pain it's in the right, butt. It's right there, on the cake, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, it's here. Right. You want him in the crate? It's not your door. Well, like I said, I, you know, I, I would rather... You know, he goes in and out whenever he feels like it. Oh, if we okay. put him in there and force him in there, shut the door, he'll whine. Oh. Especially now that you're here. Oh, and he yeah. picked him up. And he fed him. <laughs> Well, we can't help it. He's too cute. We should have more cookies. How could you say no to that? I do it all the time. <laughs> but I don't have to. I'm like the grandma that comes and visits and goes home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
As I said, when she we walk, in the it takes me forever in the village of Hillsborough to get around the block Street. here because he's got to say hi to everybody. Yeah. Oh, Mark Berry joined the friendship level. Of hey, Elaine. Mark. Thank Mark you. Thank you. Mark might have been one of them. It was on level one. I've done away with level one. People okay. always ask me why. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, I have specific reasons why. Yeah. I was having a pissy day. And, uh, well, a specific I have, reason. I have, I have, how many times have I mentioned that 60% of the people watching my view, my regular shows or whatever watch all the time, but they're not subscribed? Oh, I oh. don't know. How many? 60%. Wow. Yes. 60%? Yeah, how do you see that? You get uh, YouTube keeps all that analytics for me, and I can go to my analytics page on any video, okay. and it shows me how many views, um, who got notified, who didn't get notified, why, this, that, and on this video, 60% of the people that watch this video are not subscribed. Yeah. Oh. It wow. keeps all that on there. So I'm always looking at that stuff. Yeah. You know, to see what, what should I do Glad better. to see you, Mark. We haven't seen you in a while. And uh, anyway, um, I'm, so I go through my level one. If you have a YouTube channel, if you don't have a YouTube channel, I can't do this, but a lot of people have them. They get a, they don't put no videos on them, but if you have your own YouTube channel, there are certain things you can do differently, you know. What's your poison? So I can go to your channel, yeah. okay. and I can see exactly who you're subscribed to by getting in your channel. Oh, okay. And so all these people that make some of these comments about ever, I go to see if they got a channel. Yes, they got a channel. I go inside their members thing. I'm not even subscribed to it. They're not even subscribed to me. Ooh. You know? And six, almost 60% of the people that was on level one, even though they're a member, are not subscribed to my channel. And I said, you know what? I'm sick of this crap. I've done away with it. Because the subscriptions, because the subscriptions. is really what yeah. helps If you're not going to be subscribed right? to my channel, if you're not going to be right. subscribed to my right. channel, I don't want your 90 cents. I just don't want it. So right. I've done away with all of them. The, and Kevin, he, he's bothering you. You can go ahead and put him in the cage. That's his problem, not my problem. Yeah, well, I'm not putting him in his cage. I'm not. It's not it's, well, and I said, no. then shut the door. No. And He'll whine. Went, shut the door. He'll whine. This door. He'll whine. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, it's very, not go very wait, nice. Go wait, skip. Yeah, not go very wait, nice then. to let him bother other people. He's go wait, then. Right. Right. Um, Are you uh, subscribed to my channel? You ain't got a channel. Yeah, I am, because the last time I saw a video, you guys were on the beach somewhere. Yeah, we don't. Oh, I got uh, maybe 10, 10 uh, subscribers. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen all the uh, where you were on, on, a you ship, on a beach somewhere. You done some video. I seen it all. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> See, you didn't think I did. I don't know. I don't do YouTube. I do it through him. <coughs> I don't have my own channel. I don't. I don't. I, I just I go did on it. Chat in the 850 says we'll be on in the village of Hillsborough on Key Street. It's Ooh. just back there. Key Street's up here. No, no, it's back here. That's right. It is back there. <laughs> Nice. And yeah. where is so to visit or? Yeah, and you say you're coming in in July, Chet? It was there on there somewhere. Um, but anyhow, yeah, it's just is around the corner. Is he visiting somebody? Did he rent a place back there? He's or renting. Uncle Phil. Yeah, he's renting back there. Oh. Oh, nice. So and he's I, I think he said. See, I told you, see, he whines. He'll start barking and carry it on. He won't stop. Mm. Well. They hear it. Um, this thing picks up all kinds of stuff. Really? Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> His little tail is going back and forth. Mark Burry said, we've missed you. Oh, no, Jerry Bell said that's yeah, Mark Yeah, Mark, yeah. I haven't seen, haven't seen Mark Berry for a while. <coughs> Where's Mark been? Uh, has, Mark, has Mark been watching some of the newer YouTubers around here? Left me to go to a newer YouTuber? And there is, there's a ton. Did you leave that wife of 50 years so you could go date that 18-year-old? Goofy. Uh, Steve Fox says, the man sounds the like he's from New there. England, and the woman sounds like she is originally hails from New York or New they Jersey. They part of the old guy. Let's go get to the new guy. Mm -hmm. Did you hear? Steve Fox thinks that you sound like you're from New England, but she sounds like she originally from New York or New Jersey. Everybody yeah. says that even on the pickleball field. Yeah. On the pickleball court. But you so. sound like you're a New Yorker? That I have a very New York or New accent. Jersey. Yeah. You do, but I, I don't hear the New York. I've talked to a lot of people in New York, and they got, I don't know how to really oh, no. describe it. It's uh, New uh, York accent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kathy B., uh, we did own a home in the village of DeSoto in 2018. We sold it. Now we live in the village of Buttonwood. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was ye years ago. Give him a plug. Who sold your house? I remember. I remember. Who got you this house? I remember. I remember. Got to give the old guy a plug. You need help. Great for you, Ira. 
<laughs> He's having trouble on Monday night with a video from Is the he? squares. Oh, man. Oh, I didn't think I did. on Monday. So he, he's, he's, he was doing a live video, I guess. Uh, yeah. Well, live can be tricky sometimes. If you know, the last two weeks. You I know. What happened last week? The sound was... I always like... I know. I could set up a whole different thing if I wanted yeah. to, but it's a big production if yeah. I bring microphones and all that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. I like this. It's just simple. It's yeah. easy. And it's... Yeah. And it's Oh, thanks, Bill. And for some reason, we were sitting outside talking, and people says we got no sound, and I'm I'm hooked up the same way. So I mess with it, mess with it, mess with it to the point where I just got pissed. I said, "That's it, we're done. I'm not messing with some more." And yeah. I just I ended it. Yeah. So when I come in the house, I I deleted the whole thing, so nobody could watch it. It was so bad, that nobody could watch it. Yeah, it was so weird because there were points you would come in and out last week. Yeah, and so, we'd hear you, and then we yeah. put it. And in. so and the next week, I hooked after messing with it, I hooked it up again. Same thing. They said it was staticky. There was it yeah. wasn't right. Oh, last week was yeah. Yeah, so I, I disconnected it and I just went, done away with the video. So this week. I did two or three tests on it to come to find out. I think the only thing that was wrong, I thought it was seeing a little white connector up there. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was that, so I ordered two extra ones. Okay. Okay. Now, believe it or not, that is an Apple product. That little white cord there is $18. Really? Oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 it, yeah, yeah. Oh, because it's like an adapter. I have one of those, yeah, yeah. it's an adapter. Well, you can buy other adapters from other companies, but I don't trust them because they may or may not work. Right. But, so that's an Apple product. So I got two extra ones. Yeah. Oh. Well, the thing that plugs into that is the splitter that comes around. See yeah. How the yeah. Yeah. Sure. I had one, and it, it seemed like it worked for a while. So I'm getting everything new. So that is a heavy duty, whatever you want to call it. Like that. So I got that. So two or three nights ago, I went on YouTube, unlisted, and I <coughs> tested <coughs> both mics, recorded it, and then I played it back so I could hear it. Sounded like everything was working. Well, like I told her today, I said, you never know that you go live. If for some yeah. reason that could be a glitch, I don't know. And I so, still think you can go and have, have Wrestler or Jerry or I one. I already tested that. I told you I did. I know you said that. I, I'm just saying. I, I'm, I'm, I can't. I can't. When it's unlisted, nobody can see it but me. It's unlisted. Let him in. Okay. The only way I can get Wrestler to get on there and say, hey, am I sound okay? Happy public. That everybody can get on there. Bill D. Thanks, Bill. The weather radar shows rain and storms rolling about two or three. Great. I got to go get my golf cart. Yeah. Where's it at? Be but, uh, Brown. Brown. Between two he's, and three. He said he was but, it, but, it, but it's ready. It's Do you ready. have the uh, curtains and all that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Amy V13 is, is, is a first time uh, subscriber. The yearly maintenance. It says thanks for the Oil video. Change. Yeah. They check listening. the headlight aiming, tire pressure. They'll check the speed on it. If you're too fast, they'll slow it down. Yeah, yeah. I, I, um, I figured just, just do it. How fast was it? Uh, 23. They might not mess with that. 22, 23, I think they leave yeah. alone. You get over that, I think they'll a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. But, but good I to really see you, Amy. That's why I, before I go down there. <laughs> we kind of got carried down. away, but good to see you. Uh -oh. See, it's very simple to speed these things up. It's yes. with a zip tie. A zip tie, and you can set the speed on it. Hi, Uncle Phil. So whenever I go down there, I just take wire cutters, cut the zip tie, and I'm back to 20 miles an hour. Oh. <laughs> yes, I am the first one to speed. I love speed. I do too. King I'm the guy in the trucker that when we go down the mountains, I push the clutch in. Let Super her go. Fast. Yeah. <laughs> Tin yeah, Cup I'm 131 not. is from Pecos, Texas. Who? Tin Cup 131. Are you guys haven't gone to Texas this year? Well, we no. aren't because of Buddy. We can't go uh, Buddy. Yeah, yeah, because you know he has to pee every twenty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a long trip. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, uh, because this would be around the time you normally go. We this we usually go in usually March. I'm there for the whole month of March. Okay. Now oh I'm yeah. Back in April. This year we thought it'd be different because everybody down there leaves. They call them Texas. Um, Winter Texans down there. Okay. We call them snowbirds here. Yeah. They say April first, and they do. When we left last time, April first. I mean, the whole park was like empty. Yeah. Well, just try to imagine. There's seventy some RV parks there. Seventy some. Oh. Everybody's leaving on the same day. Yeah, it gets kind of hectic. So I thought this year, let's go down in April. April's probably good weather. Yeah. And we'll miss all that. Yeah. And uh, now, do you have family there, like white? Yeah, houses? I got a cousin and his oh, wife. Okay. She's from England. Um, she don't have an English accent of any kind. She's lived in the United States most of her life, I think. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, when he was stationed over there when he was in the military. He was there for 25 years. He met her over there. Yeah. They got married and they came over here. And yeah, the only bad thing is we missed their daughter's wedding. Yeah, I did. In March, we would have loved to have been there for the wedding. Uh, yeah, granddaughter. Okay. Yeah. yeah, missed the, missed the granddaughter. We invited to it. She's in the um, Dallas area up there. We yeah. didn't get a chance to go to that. Cause I thought I'd take the motor home, go over to the wedding. Yeah. That'd be cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, we're <laughs> And then from there, go on down to Rockport. Yeah. Oh, Overjoy just had seven extractions. Oh you think God. you went way to the dentist was bad? What? Wow. Overjoy says she just had seven extractions. Seven. Wow. Seven. What does that mean? Teeth pulled. Seven teeth pulled. Oh. Yeah, they must have saw my short. I was in the dentist office the other day. Yeah, you got bored. I took a cell phone to help my parents. Hey, I'm in the dentist office. I'm bored. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't see it. No. You guys never watch my videos, really. Do you? I told you it's not. Don't point at him. No, no. He gets the notifications. He he'll watch it most of the I time. haven't been in a few. I've in two weeks. We've been forget it. It's, yeah. Jerry says make sure you get your turn signal fluid changed while you're in the shop. I know that's it. Well, <laughs> it's, it's already done, and so I got to pick it up. I don't know what they. I, okay. Oh, I know it's one hundred eighty-nine dollars to do whatever they got to do. They're kind of pricey on everything. Oh, I know they are. Yeah, you know, it's they change your oil. It depends what service you get. Number one, two, or whatever. But oil, air filter, and then, of course they lube everything, which yeah. I don't know what that is. I don't you can't get under there. No. Um, yeah. They check your headlights. Do you have the speedometer thing behind your steering wheel? That little informational thing. Yeah. They'll go in and reset all that. Okay. They'll change the battery in that. There's oh. a battery that runs. Oh, all right, cool. And there's some other things they do, but I can't remember everything. You know what I asked them this morning? If how much it costs for the uh, self canceling self canceling turn signal. Oh yeah, that would be nice. You yeah. know what? You know how much you want? They want it. Mm -mm. Three hundred and forty nine dollars. Wow. Yeah, they're, they're I said a price what? On things. I said uh, no thanks. I'm uh, I'm good. Okay. I always wondered why they didn't have them to start with because we had motorcycles, touring bikes, hmm. and they, they have self canceling turn signals. Right. And I'm looking at it going, how come they ain't got that on a golf cart? Yeah. I just don't get it. They're on a motorcycle, but you can't get it on the golf cart? Yeah. yeah. But, but you, you can't know, get it. But it's most gonna semi trucks, cost you. people don't realize that either, but 90% of semi trucks don't have self canceling turn signals. You just get in the habit when you turn your steering wheel, your little finger goes out there, you shut it off. That's what they do. Yeah. So for you, it's not a big deal. Me, it's not a big deal. You don't think anything of it. I always forget. I don't. No. But obviously, you've seen most people do forget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You, hear them, you hear them yell. They're not yelling at you. They're just kind of, because it's noisy, they'll be on a golf cart trail and somebody will holler, Hey, take right. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Skip, do you, Skip, do you have an indoor storage for your motorhome? Who do you use for storage? I go to, I over here. Storage. Cover all. Cover all storage. On 301. Okay. I'm, I'm under roof. I get all the hookups, 30 amp, sewer. I'm not even sure what all is it. Water. Yeah. There's a wash bay. They've also got air compressor. They got everything there. And right now my rate's up to somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 a month. Yeah. It goes up every year. Oh, yeah. like everything else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but you but know. that's nice under cover. It's undercover, yeah. That's, that's and and it's, and it's not a building, it's just an overhead. Exactly. You know, I know, but still, but that's I important. Yeah, I it is. Yeah. Doctor. The, the, mm -hmm. the, the sun here in the, in the summertime mm -hmm. will just eat, because I got a rubber roof on this one. Mm -hmm. I don't have a metal roof. The other oh. the other camper we had had a metal roof, so it wasn't, I didn't worry about it. So the sun would deteriorate just, just that. deteriorates mm -hmm. them like crazy. Yeah. So that's why I'm under a roof. And yeah. I had my roof recoded uh, with a 10-year coating, so... I'm good for a while, okay. but I got to tell you, I do sometimes wonder if that $200 a month is even worth it. No more. Well, where else would you put it, though? I don't use it that much, so I'm just wondering if I would just sell it. I just don't use uh, it. See, would it be cheaper for you to rent one, is what you're saying? Shit, no. Yeah. Got, have you ever got a price on renting a motor? No, I have no idea. Or, no. Well, it just starts with the rental right. price. So much a day, so much a mile. You have to have insurance. We don't trust yours. you got to buy ours. Oh, I have uh, no idea. You know, I uh, I know because you even you have to have an insurance policy for your mobile home, oh, yeah. motor home. Mm -hmm. You have to license yeah. plates, all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. Maintenance. So. I just had new tires put on it. That was like two grand. Wow, new tires. More than that. How many tires does it have? Mine's got two, four, six. Six. I'd like to have a diesel pusher, but they got semi tires on them. That's really what no they bite. are. Right. And you're talking no two, four, six, eight. They got ten. No way. At an average of five hundred dollars a piece. 
And uh, overjoyed says, looks like Buddy's going to cramp your traveling style. Well, you know, it, it. we didn't go this time because of Buddy, but we don't go that much anyhow. I don't so, think he would cramp ours. We took Katie with us all the time. Well, and I said, when we he gets a little Maggie older. With us all the time. And that's mainly why we had the motorhome. It's all about being potty trained. Yeah. Right. And he you had know. to have some some. I was going to say, training. you took your other dog. Yeah, they were we all did. potty trained. If, if Maggie Katie. wanted out, we knew she needed to get out. Yeah. yeah. If Katie wanted out, because it's always in her lap. She'd say, we got to stop and fix the rest area someplace. Go bite him. We knew. Yeah. Well, this guy, he just sits there and looks at you and goes, I'm going to pee on you. Go bite him. He peed on her twice in the car. <laughs> He's a baby. Oh, so he, he doesn't even, no. he'll just pee right I out. swear I got some, one of the dumbest dogs in the world. So would you have to get a diaper? He's a what? baby. I'm not taking a dog with me with a diaper on. <laughs> That is, that is so embarrassing. He's still a baby. It is going to take yeah. him. He does know. He does go out in the morning. I take him for a walk in the morning, and he does his thing in the morning. But that doesn't mean when he comes in that he even thinks about it. Okay. Well, Joy says, I'm not bored, just numb and drooling. Yeah. I, I feel your pain. I feel your pain. I do. I, yeah. This doctor up here, and I got him this time, and I, I told him, I said, I'm going to say something to you. I said, and don't take me the wrong way because everybody does. I just want to be right blunt about it. He said, go, I'm good. I said, you worked on this two to three years ago. Till this day, I'm a little sore because you didn't listen to me then. I said, when I was in your chair, I almost shit my pants working on this thing. He said, I, I remember. I said, we're not doing that here. I'm not going through it again. After the third shot of trying to numb me back there, if I'm not numb, I'm just going to politely say I want to go home. And we're gonna, I'm going to go home oh, that happened to somewhere else. Yeah. He said, okay, that's fair. So he, he moved back here. First of all, he brought in the, the, the needles, right? Mm. I'm looking at him. I mean, I don't like shots, but I can deal with it. It's yeah. okay. Mm. And I noticed that on the caps, on the end of the needle, I had three collars. One pile, pile of needles, there were blue caps, and then the middle pile had white caps, and the third pile had yellow caps. Would that concern you that there's three piles of needles there? So I'm looking at that going, uh, let me ask you a question before you start working. He goes, what's that? What's a different color piles for? He said, well, really, he said, it doesn't have anything to do with the effect of the Novocaine. It's all the same level, which tells me there must be different levels of Novocaine. I want the, I want the best. Right. So he said, it has to do with the needle, the length of the needle, basically. I said, oh, really? So, so how much Novocaine comes out at a time, you mean? The, the, the nurses well, set all go. this up. They know every needle has the exact amount of cc's of stuff in it. Oh, okay. okay. It's a, the needles are different lengths to get to the nerve. Oh. So you you want to tell them you go all the way in well, that back. Well, he's going to numb it, and you know where. That's where they're <laughs> going. To, that's where they're going to numb me is back here, and I already know that because I look at him. I say, "Are you going to numb me like that?" That's how I show it. He goes, yeah. "That's yep, that's where I'm going to go." <laughs> I said, what needle are we going to use? He said, well, I'm going to use this because it's longer. He said, I have to have the long needle to be able to get back to that nerve back there. And, he, and I said, and, I, he, and he pulls the cap off, right? The needle's like, oh, and he said, I, he said, I got to get it all the way down the hair. I said, holy sh I cussed. Yeah. I said, holy shit, you're going to be in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> he just laughed. He, says, he said, well, I got to do that. So anyway, he numbed me up the first time he comes back. It actually, is, I think it's his mother came in there. And she said, how are we doing? And I look at her and I said, I'm doing just fine. She said, you're talking pretty clean. She said, is your lips getting, feel like you're getting fat? I said, no. Is your tongue? I said, no. He said, okay. So he comes back in. Okay, so it's shot number two. And she got one more after oh, this. Oh, jeez. Because I have a hard, they, for some reason, I just have a hard time. Too. Me too. So he goes back there and he gives me shot number two. And now this one, I'm starting to feel a little I'm something. Not. And so she comes back in. She said, how are we doing? And I'm poking around. I said, you know, really? I said, not only did he do that, that's right. He took the white cat needle and he started poking me on the side of the gun behind the tooth. Yeah. So he got me back here and on each side of the tooth. And, 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 I, and I, I feel pretty good. I said, I think you start to work now. And he goes, oh, no, no, no. He said, I'm going to give you the third shot. You're not making, getting, walking me into this one. I was just, you know. So pretty, did, did you get an extraction? Or? No. I was just, I, 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 my... Mom and dad and my grandfather both told me because they had, my dad did, mom did, keep your teeth as long as you can, whatever oh. it costs. Yeah. And I do believe that because these yeah. are all implants here. And even though they're great, it's, it's something that could have a problem later on and I don't know what's going to happen or anyway. Yeah. And so he goes back there and he starts drilling away. Now he got really close to the nerve and I could feel a little bit. Because he asked me, so are you feeling that? And I just went like that. It's just very little. Yeah. 
And so he, he finished that one up. He said, okay. I, I also told him, I says, you know, to help me out a little bit, talk me through this. If, if you tell me I'm almost done, give me two more minutes and we'll be done. Mind-wise, I feel better knowing we're almost done. Yeah. Because when they're in there working, you never know is right. how much more we got to do. So he got number one done, and then he said, I got number one and number two done. I said, two? I said, how many are we doing? He said, we're doing three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so now, anyway, they got me down. So what did they have to do? Root canals? The, the rear tooth, I had a cap on it. Okay. And I kept, with my tongue, I kept feeling a gap underneath the cap. Between the gum and the cap, I felt like a gap. So he has this new technology thing that I think is fascinating. I'm more fascinated with the technology than anything. He takes this like long thing, goes in your house, it makes a funny noise, he goes around your teeth like that. There's a computer screen over here that's mapping your mouth in color. Oh, I just, Have you seen that? I just had a root canal and a cap and they did that to me. Isn't that it's fascinating? It's the craziest thing, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at it going, that looks exactly <laughs> like my mouth, you yes. know? It was wild. And then that's how they make the cap. That's how I made the cap. Yeah, it was so, all computerized. I agree with you, Skip. Yeah. That was wild. So yeah. this time, actually, other than yesterday, I was a little sore. Today, not so bad. I could eat a steak or something like that. So yeah. I haven't had that much trouble. Now, i got to go back May something May second. to get my permanent put on. Yeah. Oh. But other mm -hmm. than that, and, and he, I know he's going to want to say, you know. So get. did you have a root canal on top of that? Or no, I, I told him, I said, I don't want a root canal unless I have to get one because a root canal kills the tooth. And it's just a matter of time before that tooth cracks and everything falls out. Then they got to extract it. Yeah. Then you're going to have to go into dental implants if you want to do that. Oh. Well, I had a filling that they wanted to replace the filling because right. the filling was old. It right. was uh, the silver fillings. I've got a couple of those. Yeah. So they and um, so I still had double dental coverage, right? So I said, well, if you're going to do it, do it now. Don't don't wait until I lose his coverage, right? That's mm -hmm. where you're. Yeah. So I went and they just did the cap, but I was in excruciating pain after. And it wasn't bothering me before. So then they had to do the root canal uh. afterwards. But yeah, I was root canals like, to me are kind of nerve wracking. Yeah. Well, I didn't like that at all. I don't all. like the yeah. sound of it. You get in there and they got this little file they run up and down. And how and about the thing they put like a, a canopy over your tooth or something? Yeah. Uh, it, it's not very comfortable though. Well, when I went in to get this done, he has to go in. He goes, well, we got to have eye protection. you got to take your glasses off and put on these safety oh, yeah, glasses. Yeah, yeah. And I look at it and go, why, are we going to have shrapnel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Shante. We so, appreciate it. Anyway, I got it done. Um, oh. You know, it's things that I hate. People, the lady even told me, I, I don't know if she's mad at me or why. She says, you know, she said, I'm over it. She said, I get so tired of hearing people come in and talk about how they hate to come into the dentist, hate to come into the dentist. She said, it's our job. It's what we got to do. She said, I take it personally like they're saying they hate me. I uh -huh. said, oh, no, I don't hate anybody here. You guys are super nice to me, yeah. and you treat me well, I, you know, but I'll be honest but with you. nobody likes to get that. Nobody likes to go to a dentist. Yeah. And you had to keep your mouth open all that time. I wish they that would just. That wears you out, doesn't it? I wish they would just pry. I have such a small mouth opening, and they were trying to, like, I wish they would just pry it open. Knock me out and pry it open. I've Knock said the open. same thing. I said, yeah. I wish more dentists could just give me a little shot. <laughs> And, and when and I wake you know, up, it's done and over. That's there aren't right. dentists that do that. Yeah. Well, none here. Well, you know. I, I even do. asked if he had that laughing gas. What do you call it? Yeah, laughing gas. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, got, it's got a name, yeah, though. They do. They have sedation <laughs> dentistry. You can have some uh, places have sedation. They don't have it here because the state requires that if you have anything like that, they have to have somebody sitting there monitoring your blood pressure, your oh, heart rate, yeah. and all that. Well, yeah. back home, they have it. I don't, I've never had it, but some people I know, they're so anxious they have to have sedation but yeah. mine isn't the anxiety it's just the aggravation of keeping your mouth open for two hours it hurts after a while yeah. I, yeah. I, I my dentist appointment was at two o'clock what time did i leave five. five i left at five three hours yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm getting a crap <laughs> a night nurse wants to know do you have tornado sirens in the villages do i have what tornado sirens and, and, and no, we don't that, that I know, I know of. of. What they have is the um, 
texting. Want something to drink? Uh, it's in the refrigerator. No, no, no. They, uh, um, and Coke and um, whiskey no. and beer. The sheriff and, department no, and, and honestly, the we're head out police department. Uh, you know, they they all have the, the, the text oh, thing where they'll send you an emergency yeah, text and tell you if we're going to have a bad storm or something like that. If you're registered for you have to register with them. If you go to their go to their website and they'll tell you how to register You're retired now. Thank you for Weather warning or what have you. But no, as far as I know, there is no tornado sirens here. Well, then um, maybe you shouldn't have took your golf cart down there today. I made that appointment in December. Oh, did you? The rabbits, the, the rabbits really, uh, the rabbits. did us in. Little hint, when you go to get your golf cart service next time, don't do it any later than October. Get it done. Oh, yeah. Snowbirds start piling down yeah. there in November. Yeah. And then sometimes you're looking at... Hey, did you go to Ottman's yet? Barbecue? Who? Ottman's barbecue, no. like I told you? No. no, I haven't been there yet. No, no I've got my barbecue place. It's over here. At, um, but he told you to try that other one because it was good too. Well, I'm not trying another barbecue place. I got my favorite barbecue place. I'm not going anywhere else. Which one is it? Oakwood? Oakwood, Oakwood yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, you ready to have chat? And we will be <laughs> around. We'll be yeah. back on. Jerry says Skip leaving his mouth open for three hours is a real challenge. <laughs> <laughs> People like yeah. to tease you. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. I know you don't. No, yeah, that's yeah. fine. The best one, the best one is the the say yeah. the roof. The roof? <laughs> roof. Yeah. The roof. Roof. You How do you say you the thing on the bottom of a horse is his the feet? Hoof. 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 We say hoof. Roof? Hoof. So well they ain't a roof. <laughs> Come on, <I'm> shot. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for coming by. We really oh, appreciate it. Good to see you. Yeah. Surprise. See, we came to see we you We came to first. see you. I didn't know I was there yet. I should have known because you told me you are going to be down April 1st. Yeah. Uh. And we uh, we came here first. I want that on record. <laughs> first. Okay? Well, that's what you say. But I'm it's not here. Truth. I don't know that. Trust you me. You don't have to know it. Yeah. You trust me, don't you, Oh, Sue? yes, I do. Yeah. And if I'm not here, he doesn't hear the doorbell. Oh, no, we didn't ring the bell. Uh, we just walked. I just walked. She usually puts a note on the front door when we're doing ports, and they'll say, "Go to the it, back door." Yeah, there is a note up yeah, there. Yeah, there's a note. Okay. We yeah. just assumed because it was going to be inclement weather. Yeah, so uh, yeah. 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 Well, we I just that. thought today looked like a day we need to stay in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for coming right, by, guys. Bye, hey. everyone. Hey, and glad enjoy. You, I'm glad that you're here. Yeah. Glad that you're here. So yeah. take care, buddy. Give so, me a, give me a call sometime. We'll go out and have dinner sometime. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll, absolutely. Well, we'll try Hartman's. Yeah, we'll what try Hartman's. <laughs> it's the new barbecue. Oh man! Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll try it. I don't care. We'll try it. It's good. Yeah, yeah, buddy. You gotta stay it's here. It's a hole honey. in the wall, but it's good. Yeah, buddy. Well, you gotta stay here. So does old shucks. Old shucks is a hole in the wall, you know. But I, I like it. I don't mind. It. Unless you like oysters. You don't like it. Sherry told us. I'll no, I, said, I will I never like take you to old shucks ever again. <laughs> ever. <laughs> I said it wasn't my favorite. I didn't say I hated it. Yeah. It Here's your exact words to me was like, it's okay. It's okay. It was okay. This yeah. tells me, no, nah, I, didn't, I didn't really like it. Okay. All right, guys, we'll see you. See ya. <laughs> Be careful in this storm now. It's supposed yeah. to be pretty, pretty rough. All right. Thanks, Sue. Uh, bye bye. See y'all. Right. See y'all. <laughs> oh, William yeah. said to ask him if there are new houses, lightning rods, and thunder mufflers. I don't believe so. Thunder mufflers, what? Uh, yeah, he said to ask them if their new house has lightning rods or thunder mufflers. What's a thunder muffler? I, I don't know. I don't like lightning rods and I'll never get them. <laughs> yeah. that's, a, that's a personal choice. I mean, it's yeah. kind of like Chevy and Ford, you know. Um, I grew up on a farm and I can remember all the old duffers around, they standing at the fence row like farmers, you can picture it, talking. Me as a kid, I'm listening. And the only guy that had lightning rods, they used to put lightning rods on the hay barn. So the hay barn wouldn't, they put up hay years ago. And the dairy farmer down the road from us, he had a big hay barn, had a couple of them. He put lightning rods on both of them to protect the hay. And he was the only one whose barns burnt down <laughs> yeah. because the lightning kept hitting his barns. And one day it got on fire. So the theory was then, everybody said, we're not getting lightning rods because they say the lightning rods attracts the lightning. And that's in my head to this day. And, and Yeah, and they, they have all kinds of seminars that says that that's not true. But it's probably not true, who but knows? that's... Who knows? If I put lightning rods on the house, I'm not going to sleep well at night. Every time it lightnings, I'm going to go, 
to that. And Remember that light we used to hit our swing set in the backyard? Yeah. All the time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Overjoyed says, see, you said no one ever visits after moving to the villages. Uh, well, we may, we kind of met family, but but yeah. I said, oh, you guys come visit. That's good. We used to have people at Port Sutton out front when we we're out front. You used to drop by all the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've always told people on Port Sutton, just drop by. If you come by here and it's like this, there would be a note on the front door Sue puts up there saying, back door. I mean, just come on back here. Yeah. I think Ira came back here once. Yeah, yeah. Because I was surprised to see him. I didn't know he was coming either, but I see him coming around the coming around the uh, lanai here. No. I think Ira's doing way too much. I don't. I don't know why. Well, None he's getting. Didn't. You know, I'm getting a new business off the ground's hard. I shall say, I, if I was going to do a video and I was Ira, and I'm not Ira, I'm just I'm giving my opinion. I would do videos of houses I've got for sale, in and out. That'd be it. But that's, that's enough. what everybody does. No, he's got a podcast now, a new mm -hmm. podcast. He's putting up one or two days a week. He's got this live show he does once or two days a week. Plus, he does videos on how to maintain a house. How to, He's doing a video on how to remodel a million-dollar house. I mean, good God, Ira, sell the house. Quit <laughs> doing all this. He's an, he's an enterprising little guy. He really is. Um, but, yeah, he may may have bit off more than he could chew. But, but nice, and it's hard getting a new, new uh, company off the ground. And, and you know, he's... He's went from the company he was with to opening his own, I and M Realty, and um, and from what I understand, he's doing very, very well. So you know the the internet, you get so much stuff going. It is a lot of work. I mean, it's a lot of work. You don't realize how much. And but I'm you know I, I'm glad to see him start his own because he was doing very well. And you know, as far as realtors go. Uh, you know, he's an honest guy. Mark Barry says, "How does this Discord thing work?" Well, Mark. The way I've got my Discord set up, you have to be a Patreon member. You just can't go there. So I don't know what to tell you, dude. If you're, you know, the cheapest level on YouTube now is five bucks. So do yourself a favor. Seriously, I'm just going to save you. I'm going to save you some money. <laughs> go to Patreon, cancel your YouTube membership. Go to Patreon, sign up for the $2 level. And as soon as you do that, I'm going to send you an invitation to the Discord. That's the only way you're going to get it. Yeah. And, uh, Pirate Harry K says, to me, being widowed since 2019, you guys are my family. Love watching you guys. Well, thank you. Tin yeah. Cup, 91 degrees in Pecos. I saw something on the news just the other day about Pecos, Texas. Yeah. Don't something, know. yeah. I don't remember what, I, I don't think it had anything to do with the illegals. But there was something going on in Pecos. I don't know. I don't know. But, but you know, it's um, we, it was warm here. I mean, I walked this morning and it was... It was very warm. I think the high today is muggy. like 82. I think I see it. 82 is going to be the high today, and 68 is going to be the low tonight. Well, Sounds pretty good for all you people living in North Dakota, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I said the storm coming through is going to lower the temperature, so the next the uh, next two morning temperatures is going to be in the 50s. Where the hell's Buddy? Yeah, he's here somewhere. As he went in. Isn't that funny? See, people leave, Buddy disappears. <laughs> He may have went. But he's a people person. I swear he is. He is. He is. He's got to say hi to everybody. But um, well, but that's yeah, good man. though, because I remember Kate, met Katie and Maggie in her older age. She they didn't they didn't like anybody coming around. Well, and then I said he's still young yet. He's only four months. So you know the stuff that that we still have problems with. I said he'll come out of that. It's just a matter of we'll of see. time. We will, will see. We will see. And I said, there's nothing wrong with him. He's just a puppy. Stupid. I think I got a dumb one. No, you didn't. <laughs> yes, it, it is a lot of work to start your own real estate office, especially when you're 65. That's right. I'm still stuck on overjoyed. So, so, apparently, she just left the dentist office. She still, <laughs> so she's still drooling. <laughs> well, I, I feel sorry for her. I really do. I haven't had all my teeth cut out. I have had a couple of them taken out. And I got implants down here. All these are implant. And this up here is a, a bridge. Um, so I had all these cut out up here years ago. Um, I haven't forgot. It's not fun. Sue yeah. said some of them cut out. And yeah. how come you ain't never went in and got your bridge uh, uh, implant put in? Just You got the worst part of it over. I know. I know. I just been too busy. <laughs> Just to, I, I'm not. Don't you love be, it when retired people tell you that? He says, oh, I, I can't, I've just been too busy. Well, I'm not crazy about going to the dentist either. 
you got the worst part. I had, I've had the implants. I know what they're going to do next. They're yeah. going to put these little screwy things in there. They're going to measure them. And then they're going to take them back out. And then they're going to have their, the thing made. The machine makes that up there. Then they're going to screw them back in again. And then they're going to fit everything. And then he's going to, he's going to have you, how's it feel? How's it feel? How's it, and then they're going to, once they glue it, that's it. There's no moving them anymore after that. Aww. Well, I don't know. I just haven't. haven't there's there's no pain involved from this point on. I do so many doctor crap that I, I just don't want to do anymore. That's all. I mean, Technically, I, I, he's not a doctor; he's a dentist. Whatever. I like I said, it's another one of those things you got to make an appointment for, and I, I just got. So what? Well, I just haven't done it. No. Uh, Jackie Van Auken says we are going to have rain or snow for the next four days. We only had. Where's that at? One snowstorm this year got about eight inches. Very unusual for us. Where? Yeah, where are you at, Jackie? Uh, I, I can't remember. Uh, it's. Skip Camper is not under roof. Skip Camper is not under roof. It is under rough. <laughs> oh, they're making fun of me again. <laughs> yeah. Listen, we don't have an accent, do we? <laughs> Somebody told me I sound like I was from Kentucky. Yeah. Yeah, we, we do have that Kentucky in us. But I've talked to a lot of people from Kentucky, and I listen to them, and I go, do I really sound like that? Because I don't think I do. No. And I said, yours is, is kind of in between. Because, yeah, I, I uh, went to lunch with a lady that, is from Kentucky the other day, and, and she has a very Kentucky. Well, down here in the villages, especially if they move down here or any retirement place down here, remember everybody down here is from somewhere else, and you're going to hear accents that you're not going to be able to pick out. And uh, it's like um, Judy P. You know, I, I kid her a lot saying she's from Alabama because she has that Alabama accent. She said, No, she's from Georgia, but the truth is, her accent's from Arkansas. <laughs> That's what she yeah. says. Yeah, she just got one of those accents, yeah. But a lot of it determines, you know, when I, I grew up on Kentucky Avenue, you know, and everybody that lived there was from misery. <laughs> Missouri. Uh, so like everybody had a, a southern accent of some kind. And um, so like I said, it wasn't particularly Missouri or Kentucky or it was kind of in between because that's the people you're around you know, for, for years and years and years. Um, and I, I always said, you know, that I come from South Anderson, <laughs> which was the, I would come from the South, I come from South Anderson, which was the next big town around us. Uh, but yeah, everybody has their, their own. And I, I can, some of them you can pick out, like the New Jersey accent, the, uh, like I said, the Rhode Island, New Hampshire accent. You can pick those out really, really easy. Uh, and I said, the Kentucky, Tennessee, uh, and I said, and, Alabama, Georgia, you know, they have that real slow draw. So a lot of things you can, you can pick out, but some of them you can't. No. And I said, I'm not really sure how mine sounds. <laughs> Bill B uh, says, let's see, $400 to extract a tooth. Is it that much to take a tooth out? Yeah. Last time I had one taken out, it was 35 bucks. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it's, or 5000 for an implant. I know implants are expensive, but it all depends, Bill. If it's a jaw tooth and you don't, nobody's going to see it, so you don't really care. But what would you do if it's one of these? I don't want to run around with a big gap in my head. I mean, unless yeah. you have to if you can't afford it. But you're right. Implants are expensive. 5000 for a tooth. I'm thinking that might be a little low. Isn't like one tooth now like $9,000? Or am I, I wrong? I, you know, I, I don't remember. I, I just know it was a lot. I can tell you all these implants down here was... 9,000, but the difference was when I first came here, I had UPS dental, and so I didn't pay near that. I don't even know what I paid, but anyway, that's a difference. But let me let me say this I've got United Health Insurance with a Medicare uh, Advantage, Advantage plan, and I'm amazed about because I knew I had some kind of dental because they told us that, but I thought it was probably for like cleaning or some. You know, something that doesn't really mean much. But they did the work this last time, and the bill was over $4,000, and I had to give them a check for 400 and some dollars. So I was kind of surprised by that. I th well, they said, you're not done yet. No, but still, out of 4000 my part was 400 and some. Now, maybe that's maximum. Maybe we're done for the year. I don't know that yet. But I just thought, my God, they paid quite more than I thought they would. They, they do. For certain things, they do. So, uh, 
Amy V13 says, here in North Carolina, it was 86 yesterday, but looking at temps in the 30s coming this weekend. Where? Uh, in North Carolina. So you can't decide what season we're in. I know. Like I said, this has just been the the weirdest year. The North weirdest Carolina? Winter. Is that where yeah. Myrtle Beach is? Yeah, I don't know if it's north or south. I, I don't remember either. Yeah. I know Myrtle Beach, we went there one year and it was chilly. We didn't even get to the pool. No, no. But, but yeah, that, that, like, we had that kind of weather, you know, all week. And what was it, one day, I think yesterday. Uh, yesterday, the day before, they were expecting it to get up to 89, something like that. Uh, and I said, today, it was it was in the high 70s. But I said, with a storm coming through, it's going to bring the temperature down a little bit. Um, but, you know, after this storm's over, then we've got the temperature's going to go down in the mornings or during the nighttime. But then we've got mid to upper 70s for the next two or three days and, and sunshine. So, you know, can't beat that. That's going to be good working weather. And Hey, night nurse, to address your tornado sirens again, there is what they do here is they use your cell phone. Just like for missing children, uh, or the, here you'll get a lot of um, silver alerts. A lot of elderly people have dementia. They get in the car, they take off, and it's a silver alert. They do the same thing for like any kind of a hurricane coming, not really, but a tornado coming. You'll get a siren on your cell phone. Uh, that's about what they do. Yeah, like I said, they have that in all the all the police stations. They have some kind of alert that you can sign up for. I mean, they don't arbitrarily send them to everybody in the village. Well, no, we're in Sumter County. Yeah, so you, we're signed up with Sumter County. Yeah, you, you sign up for them on there. Go to their website and sign up for them, and, and you will get a, um, a text alert. Um, some of the weather stations has the same thing, where uh, I watch Wish 2 News and, and weather here. And, and, I send, and I've got the Wish 2 app on my phone, and they will send you a weather alert. Now, you know, for them to do it, I don't know if it takes longer. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, that's, that's how they, they let everybody know is by text. Um, Overjoy says she has short acting sedation. I was very comfy. Well, Overjoy, I'm glad you was. But when I go, I want my whole face to be numb. Everything. <laughs> or, better, I, or better yet, just put me to sleep. Just, that's it. I, I remember him once going... Going and having surgery done, and I can't remember what it was for now, but whatever they give him uh, was so good. <laughs> and I'm, I'm driving from Pendleton. Home. The time we was left from Pendleton, I, you know, I, I, I was don't going remember. to my dentist office up there, and he's going to cut all these teeth out up here on top. Well, I don't know, but like on the way home, you wanted to go to Starbucks. Oh no, that was my hemorrhoid <laughs> surgery. Yeah, I had hemorrhoid surgery really bad, and. Uh, um, I don't know what they do. You know, they do what they do. Yeah, I don't know what they give him, but it was good stuff. Let yeah, on the way home, I, I wanted to stop by Starbucks, and we went inside <laughs> and sat down. I told Sue, I said, I feel like I got something crammed up my ass. Yeah. You know, it ended up being like a diaper thing back there. And and then uh, I wanted to go to, where were they go shopping at? Uh, oh, UK Pottery? UK Pottery, and I bought a bunch of Indian stuff. <laughs> I don't even know why. <laughs> I just let him go. You know, I just let him go do what he wanted. It was, just, it was funny. It really, really was. I've never seen anybody that was. You so got to ask yourself the question, though. She knew I was on these drugs, and I said, I want to go to UK Pottery, and she, she should have said, Why? <laughs> you don't shop. No, yeah. we're going to go home. That's what she should have said, because she's driving. I'd go shopping regardless. You know, if you wanted to go shopping, I was good for it. So, um, let me see. Oh, yes. And I do have a polo on today. Just just one of those things. You never know. I have one the same color as his, but I know he'd probably have a fit if I wore it at the same time he did um, because of his mother's matchy-matchy thing, you know. So, but, but yeah, I do have a polo on today. Um, Ford Guy said he never got an invite for Discord. Are you on Patreon, uh, Ford Are Guy? you on Patreon? I don't send them to YouTube members. Patreon members only. Yeah. And, you, and that's the only way I can send it to you is on Patreon because it's set, it's linked to the Patreon account. Yeah. Rustler Manny says, hi, of 45 today in central Pennsylvania. He says, don't you miss it? <laughs> no. And anybody that's watching this, if you're not aware, if you was on level one on YouTube as memberships go, the 99 cent level, I think, I deleted that. It's all gone. There's no more level one, which means you're not a member anymore. It's gone. Uh, Jackie Van Auken says Rochester, New York. That's where she's at. 
Is I know Rochester. I've been to Rochester. Nice town. They said it was 86 and, and it's going yeah, to be in the nice 30s this town. weekend. Yeah. Uh, Buffalo, New York. Nice little town. Uh, Binghamton, New York. Been there. Nice little town. A lot of times are nice little towns. When you start getting toward the east side of New York, around New York City area, or within 100 miles of that place, that's when things start to get a little crazy for me. I mean, my back, I'm not talking about the, all the crap now. I'm talking about everything. Traffic, the toll road. When you're in a semi-truck... It, I went inside New York City one time to make a delivery, and and pick, I made a pickup and came out, and um, I think I ended up. But I'm going back in the '90s or '80s, maybe not, maybe '90s. Anyway, I had over a hundred dollars of toll tickets crossing the bridges and everything. That's why I decided. I'm sorry, New York, you can starve before I come back here. <laughs> oh, William says I always see the dentist and the proctologist at the same time. Trust me. There you go. <laughs> Oh, son of all Marcus says, wherever I'm suffering from insomnia, I go to a polo match. Well, you know, I it was okay. I've only been to one or two, and it was okay. Um, but it, it, I think it <coughs> depends on who's playing and uh, and how serious they are about it. If they're just if they're just out there messing around, that's one thing. But if it's they're really into the sport, that makes it more exciting for the audience. I think so. Ford guy, what name do you use on Patreon? Because I do not have a Ford guy on Patreon at all. And you say that you never got an invitation. When I first opened up Discord, I sent everybody an invitation that was a Patreon member. Okay. Some people has gotten the invitation four and five times. But you're not going to get it unless you go to your Patreon email and look. Uh, you should be notified if you linked it to your phone. If you're a Patreon member. If you're a Patreon member. Yeah. Well, I can tell you right now that Ford Guy 65 does not exist on Patreon. So let me know now what, or send me an email, what name you're using on Patreon, and I'll send you another invitation. I got no problem with it. Yeah, Tim Cup 131 says, where were the visitors from? They were from Rhode Island, and, and they, just, uh, they just now come down. Uh, they had the house here, and they're just coming down permanent now. This is the second house. Yeah, this is their second house, because they, they did have one in... in uh, down in the southern end. Was it, was it McClure? Um, what the hell was the name of that name? You just said the neighborhood. <laughs> yes, I know, and I anyway, think of it. He had a house down by the Finney area. They didn't like it down there. And they rented out, and they, they had some problems with the rental, and so they said they just sold it, and, and they found this little house is, is the one that they wanted. It was perfect. had all the <laughs> details that they wanted in it, and so they, they went ahead and bought it, but they weren't able to actually retire and come down full time until now. So this is their, this is their retirement. So they're they're enjoying it. Yeah, he they're, just uh, moved here. Well, you heard the story. He thought his house was sold. Well, that's got to be a bummer. Yeah. And then they find out it's not sold. So now they gotta start over. Yeah, but they've loved it down here. When they come down here, they love pickleball. Oh, he's they're, the, yeah, they're the pickleball nuts. Yeah, they're, they're big pickleball players. Uh, I wished I could. I, I, you know, it's just like golf. I wished I could because it just looks like so much fun, but not something I'm physically able to do. But uh, Wrestler, I moved it down. It popped up again, the same message. Maybe I just got the same message. He said my mic was too loud, uh, so I moved it down a little bit. Okay. Um, Laura said she paid 5000 for a, an implant three years ago. Yeah. For they're, one, for one, two. Yeah. That, they're expensive, and I said, depending on who you go to, it's kind of all over the map as far as dentists goes, and then somebody told me to go to Gainesville to the uh, teaching hospital. Oh, uh, I, I ain't ready. doing that. <laughs> well, that's kind of what I thought. I don't want anybody learning in my mouth, so. I have but. a hard enough time getting numbed up without going to a school. <laughs> Son of my marker says, I charge $5 to remove a tooth. The string is extra. <laughs> the string is extra. <laughs> That's good. Uh, uh, you, Overjoy says Humana Gold gives you five thousand and and includes implants. Wow. So Myrtle Beach is in South Carolina. Says I'm in Road Raleigh, North Carolina. Didn't we go okay. to Raleigh once? Sorry. Raleigh, North Carolina. Yeah, yeah, we've been there. I think I've been to Raleigh. I don't remember why. Is that very close to Mayberry? Oh God, I don't. Siler remember. City. I don't remember. Those are real cities, I think, for the Mayberry show, Andy Griffith. Mayberry, I'm not sure about, but Siler mm -hmm. City, I think, was a real city, and some other ones. I ain't never been up there, I don't think, of that Mayberry town. I should make that a stop sometime. I know it's touristy, but I guess I should make that a stop. Yeah. Mark Mary says, my dentist on Warren Spring Road charged me 3500 for my implant. Mark, is that uh, um, Dr. Shore? 
Uh, I've heard a lot about him. I've heard he's very, very good. Um, in, uh, yeah, and dental insurance, you just never know. You know, we had really, really good dental insurance before, um, but like I said, now it, it's kind of, I don't have dental insurance because I, I have a um, supplement plan, but he does have the Advantage plan and it does cover more than what we expected, actually. I have never paid for any medicine that my primary doctor said I need, like blood pressure. I got the same three that everybody gets. Blood pressure, cholesterol, and, and, anger, and anger management pills. Stomach pills. <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah. <laughs> Stomach pills. Yeah, you need the anger management, management uh, pills. That's the three I get. And, and actually, they mail them to my house by the dozens, and I've never paid for any of that out of mm -hmm. my pocket. Doctor office calls, never paid any. I went to a specialist once for my knee, I think, or something. What was I went to? You what? had a heart test. No, no, no. I didn't pay for that either. But I went down here, and this guy was hitting my knee, and he kept and he drew blood. And he said, "Walk down the highway and come back." Whatever it was, I went there for a neurologist or something. <clears throat> and I did pay a copay there, I think, like thirty-five or forty-five dollars, mm -hmm. something like that. So for specialists, I do have to pay a copay. And I'm sure if I go to a hospital, there's probably a copay. If I call an ambulance, I'm sure they probably don't pay nothing. <laughs> yeah. um, but yeah. so far, it's been okay for me. But basically, I'm kind of a healthy guy. I'd say between 100% being perfect, I'm probably around a 65 to 70% category. Oh, bless the heart. Um, the rest are says less than 30 minutes left. And um, so just giving you a countdown. So I got stuff to do today, possibly pumping out the basement. Well, yeah. It's almost two o'clock. We only got ten minutes left. Yeah. Well, I said I don't know how long this has been on there, but anyhow, it's yeah. To we're rain. Winds the, really uh, starting to blow. The storm's starting to come in. That's what I said. I'm hoping Kevin gets home okay. Picking that car <laughs> cart up. He's picking his golf cart up down there. Yeah. It's like this, he's got to drive this thing on the way up to like something. <laughs> if I was him, I'd just go to supper and come back later. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. I would. Get, while I was down there, I'd get me something to drink, whatever it may be. They got machines down there. And I'd get in a golf cart, I'd zip it up really good, and I'd start hitting the trails, and it starts blowing really, really bad. Just pull off into the grass and just sit there and drink and get your phone out and play around. <laughs> just wait for it to go by. That's what retired yeah. life's about. You're not in any hurry to get anywhere. A tin cup 131 says, Charleston has a great beach. I was there last August. Yeah, I was. I, I love Charleston. I, I think it's so pretty. And my, my brother actually, uh, in February, he actually vacationed in Charleston, uh, him and his family, and, and his kids was able to come come stay a, a couple days with them there and they really loved it so it, it's a nice area um let's see see fox says uh, i feel lucky we can afford to go to the dentist well okay. i do too in a way but i'll be honest with you if it wasn't for insurance i'm not sure i could afford to get anything done yeah i mean especially implants they are so i'd be like the rest of people i guess i'd end up getting dentures <laughs> yeah well, that's the cheapest way to go nowadays. Um, I had partial denture. What are you barking at? <laughs> the rain. Oh. <laughs> he didn't know what that is. He hears that noise. They call it, buddy. They call it a flipper. Buddy, don't make me come in there. <laughs> yeah, the mics are working now. <laughs> um, and I in a semi truck, and and it filled the gap where you look kind of normal. I hated the darn things, and one day I was driving down the road, and I threw them out the truck window. I said, that's it. I'm not wearing them anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, we just had to look at him the way he was. Because <laughs> that, wasn't that the, the forefront teeth? Yeah, I had these, I was here, I'm missing. Yeah. They just cut them out. And when he cut them out, he said, I'm going to give you a flipper. And I said, what's that? He said, well, it, it, he said, it fills in the gap. It's a, it's a denture that goes in. I said, okay. I never thought anything about it until after I had it. And you play with it with your tongue. You can't really eat with it. Stuff gets underneath of the thing that goes up to the top of your mouth. And one day I just had enough of it and out the window it went. Yeah, Lynn, we, we are back. We figured out the the um, vocal part, you know, all of our sound problems that we had. And I, and I knew it was something that was very simple. It always is. You just have to find it. Uh, and I said, well, unfortunately, we was trying to do that while we were on the air, and that wasn't cool, I know. But but we, we evidently got it fixed. 
Listen, when it comes to YouTube, you just can't really check things the way you'd like to. If I was on something else, I could. She said, well, why don't you do a, a, a thing with WrestleMania and check out the audio? If I get on YouTube here to check something out, I make it unlisted so other people don't have to deal with all this stupid stuff. Well, once I make it unlisted, wrestler can't get on there either. It's just me. That's why it's unlisted. I can't invite him on. It's just There's just nothing there that, as far as I know. Now, if he's on StreamYard, that's different. I can make StreamYard unlisted, but then I can invite people. We call it being backstage in the mm -hmm. green room. I could invite him in and we could test it that way, but here's the problem. That iPad doesn't really want to do StreamYard because they have their own browser on that damn thing. And when I try to go through it on the browser I normally use, which is Chrome, it's always saying, go to your browser, go to this, go to Siri. I mean, I get tired of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Guthrie Plume says, Rochester, 100% Eclipse. Yeah, I think we're only going to get 67% uh, here. What Eclipse? Um, Monday, the solar eclipse. It's a big deal. The sun or the moon? What, sometimes you have a moon eclipse. Well, this is going to be at 3 in the afternoon, so... Oh, it'll be the sun. Yeah. And the um, actually, the Astronomy Club is having a thing at Homestead Recreation. And, and, and they will be bringing a, a lot of equipment. And, and I think they'll have some solar glasses. That's another thing. I, I want to know where was a rep... I'll tell you how. I learned this when I was in elementary school. You take a piece of cardboard paper. No, 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 no. This is not the same thing. And, and I'm the, telling you, take a piece of cardboard paper, you punch a hole in it. You have another piece of paper down here. And then you hold it like that against the sun and it reflects and you can watch the solar eclipse on that paper. Well, anyhow, I'm not sure I'd, I'd but do the, that. As far as the solar glasses go to watch them, seems to me all they are is a very dark sunglass. Yeah, I mean, but like I said, for this one, it has to be, I don't know, a certain Who says degree. that? Who said that? The solar glass people are selling them? Well, I wouldn't take my information from you. How about that? I say stay in the house and watch it on the news. <laughs> well, anyhow, they're having a big do at Homestead Recreation. It starts at, at 1 o'clock on, on Monday afternoon. And um, the, the peak of the eclipse is at 3.02. And, and their doings all ends at, at 4. But they will be bringing... Uh, all kinds of stuff and explaining stuff for you, telling you all about eclipse and all that kind of thing. I think the next one's not until 2029 or something like that. But but they made it a big deal. I, I've seen them actually selling um, parking spaces in certain areas <laughs> for people to be able to see the eclipse. Uh, that I didn't understand. But but I said, you know, they've got a, a picture in the paper of, of where the, the arc of the eclipse is going to go. So there's certain states that's going to see all of it and certain states not. They're saying our chances are 67%. That's all we're going to see of it. But still, that, that's pretty good. And, uh, Another announcement is I got my driver's license renewed. Yeah, and you did that online. I did it online. I knew somebody told me, the cop even told me, that you can do it online if you have no tickets within the last five years, stuff like that. <clears throat> so I went on there and I found it. And it was pretty simple. And... Driver's license price down here kind of surprised me. I'm used to getting my license up north for like, I don't know, 10 bucks. But they're only good for like, what is it, four years? I think Indiana's four years for your, well, I always had CDLs, so four years. And I got them down here, they were $57 to renew my driver's license. No tests are involved. It basically credit card number. And within 10 days, they mailed them to me in the mail. And I got them. So, yeah. I, and I'm good till something like 2035. Yeah, it's something right. like yeah. that. And like I said, there the license down here a little bit different than what we're used to. Um, and Walter wants to know where do you go if there's a tornado alert in Florida? Here in Minnesota, we go to our basements. What do you do? Well, we've never had a tornado here since we've been here to worry about it. But if I had to pick a place, you always go to the center part of your house, find a closet or a bathroom, and that's where you want to go. So in our house, it, it would probably be. It could be the laundry room, or it could be our guest bathroom, maybe, um, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, we, we've never had that worry. They, the last uh, tornado, I think, that they had here that done any damage was 2007. I believe they had a, had a tornado. They had it over in the um, uh, Caroline area, in, the, in Mallory, in that area. That, that's where it hit over there. And uh, let's say we come down here like the week after that tornado hit, and all you could see 
you know, Mallory, at Mallory Country Club, I think is the highest point uh, in the villages. And you could see down, down the road, when you look down the road, you can see all the blue tarps on everybody's roofs. <laughs> but they actually have a, a brass plaque at the uh, rec center over there, which is Coconut, Coconut Cove, I think, rec center. And they have a brass plaque dedicated to all the people that they helped out their neighbors during, during that tornado. Mark says he went to a dentist at Warm Springs Road and they charged him 3500 for an implant. <clears throat> that's that's pretty good price. Yeah, and that's what I said. Warm Springs. I'm, I'm I'm thinking that's the dentist that Jose was telling us about, and and his name was Doctor Shore, I believe. Uh, mm, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Grace said Mayberry is Mount Airy, and the other town on the show that's real is Mount Pilot. Mount yeah. Pilot. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Oh, uh, he says Doctor Marcos. Elite Dental Club. Okay, that's a different place then. It's a different dentist office down there. Ooh, did you see that? Yeah, lightning. Lightning over there. Yeah. Well, as I said, you know, they said about uh, about two or three we were going to get the bulk of the storm between um, two and six, I think. And they said heavy rain and and um, big wind gusts. So. Amy says I'm originally from Binghamton, New York. I've been there. Years ago, I used to deliver to all the Kmart stores in that northeast section up there. And on one trailer, I might have 10 different stores to deliver to. That's why I was at these Rochester, Binghamton, Buffalo, all these little towns around um, to deliver stuff to Kmart. <laughs> William. <laughs> I spent 500 for a device to enlarge my willy, and I received a magnifying glass. What? <laughs> oh, my. Okay, moving on. Do I know Avon, New York? I don't think so. Oh, and a tornado watch in 48 counties in Virginia till 7 p.m. So y'all be careful. DeSoto. I see that now. Yeah, that's where they had their first house of DeSoto. Yeah. They had it for a couple of years, I think. And then they decided to sell it. Uh, they rented it first. They rented it first, and they were using it for a vacation home. And then he just decided he didn't want to be down there anymore. And they bought this house up there, kind of halfway between Brownwood and Lake Sumter. It's a good area. There's nothing wrong with the area at all, and he's got a choice. He comes down here, like he said, to get his golf cart worked on, and it's about the same distance to go up to Lake Sumter to do whatever they want. So, and yeah. that's where they're at. And I've been to their house. It's kind of tucked back away off the main road, so they don't have a lot of traffic back there in their neighborhood or anything like that. All right. Uh, Brickyard Brickhead says, go to Mount Airy and take a ride in Mayberry Sheriff squad car. Well, you know, we used to live in Brownsburg in Indiana, and, and just down the road was Danville and they have the Mayberry Cafe and they have the uh, squad car that sits out there I think every day and then on their menu you know they have Aunt B's fried chicken and that kind of stuff and it was it was kind of kind of neat they have every year they have kind of a we contest. We used to go to Aunt B's kitchen and eat. Yeah that's what I said they, you know every and, year they uh, have the contest. I had, to see. The, I had Aunt B's famous fried chicken. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they had a contest to see who looked the most like Barney. <laughs> Actually, really I think cute. they call it Mayberry Days, right? Isn't yeah, that what they Mayberry call it? Days, yeah. Mayberry Days, yeah. Because it was Mayberry Cafe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, let's see. Oh, my. I, I hear you in there. Be quiet. Um, Elaine Skirsky says she bought a cheapy throwaway paper one at Lowe's. Okay, she's talking about the, the solar glasses. Well, that's I, I knew that you could probably get them at the drugstore at Lowe's or one of those, but I said, you just never know how good they are. Uh, and I, said, I know you could order off of Amazon, but I said, that's another one of those things where you don't, if you don't know who the seller is, you don't know what you're getting. And, uh, yeah. Grace said she did that with the paper in the 1970s. Yeah, I remember that from, from elementary yeah. school. They took us outside during uh, an eclipse, and we'd done that. My first grade teacher's name was Mrs. Deaver, yeah. and I always called her Mrs. Beaver. I knew her name was Deaver, yeah. but I called her Beaver. <laughs> Just poke the bear. <laughs> All the time. Yeah. Oh, and um, We had another teacher in the fifth grade. Her name was Mrs. Hale, H-A-L-E. I always called her Mrs. Hale. <laughs> Brickyard Brickhead says welder's goggles will work. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's well, that would make sense. Very dark sunglasses, are really all it is. And William says we will have a full solar eclipse here in Central Florida in 2045. Well, you know, I don't know why this one, because, I mean, we had one a couple years ago, and it was no big deal. But this one has stirred up a lot of uh, controversy. I don't know if it's because of social media or what it is, but, but like everybody in, in the country, they're talking about the, the airline flights were, were packed with people going to because states where it, they go, it's, see. A, it's a biblical thing. I've been watching it on the news. You don't keep up with this. All right, here's the thing. They're talking about building a third tabernacle in Israel because of all the bombings and stuff going over. They're relating that to the Bible when it says before the second coming of Christ, there'll be a third tabernacle being built. Now they're talking about these eclipses as being a sign of God about warning everybody else that the second coming is close at hand. That's how they're relating all this. Now, I'm not saying any of this is true. I'm just telling you this is what's going on on the news. Oh, and Gracie said that she heard that the, um, the newer welder's goggles are not strong enough like the older ones were. And that, that's what I'm Maybe. hearing, that, that what they used to use isn't, isn't doing the trick. And that's why I wanted to make sure I had, you know, the right ones. And I haven't got anything yet, but... Pirate yeah. Harry, no, I did not keep my CDLs. But I tell you, if you have a CDL and you, when you retire, it's, it's something that you're going to have to decide on what you want to do. I didn't want to get rid of them. I wanted to hang on to them because... When you first retire, you just don't know what the future is going to hold. I mean, is something going to happen where I need to go back to work and, and make some, some money? And at least driving a truck, I know I'm going to make a lot more than minimum wage. And, uh, and I could get a job anywhere. If you got a CDL nowadays, you get a job anywhere. Yeah, that's true. And so I, I held on to them and held on to them and held on to them. Licensed branch lady told me I had to make a decision sooner or later. And then one day I was just sitting there and I told her, I said, you know what? I don't really want to drive a truck anymore. Let him go. And at the, literally, she went like this. She went, gone. <laughs> I yeah. said, that fast? That's it. They're gone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lynn's a skip. Glad you finally got your ride along with the police. Interesting video. Yeah, I know. It, it, I did was, the best it wasn't I could as do. exciting as he would want. But uh, but it really did give you an idea of the work is what they, they have to, to do and all. It wasn't very long, I know that. Um, but like I said, hopefully you can get another, another ride along. And um, you never know what happens. But like I said, this is a, a retirement village. And even though we have 150,000 people here, we're relatively safe. It just safe. goes to show you there's nothing going on. Yeah, we're relatively safe here. I don't care what people think when they're talking about, you know, the drunks. And like I said, that kidnapping was horrendous. It really was, but that's not your norm here. You know, I say people go to bed at nine, ten o'clock. <laughs> and all the uh, the pullovers and the um, complications that you saw on that video where they were talking to people, none of that was inside the villages. That was all over in Fruitland Park. Mm -hmm. Well, and uh, oh, okay. Gracie said the solar glasses should have the I ISO mark on them or the box. That, that's why I want to know. I, I didn't know how you knew which was the good ones or not, but I remember that now. Okay. Um, Tammy says she knows an actor that looks like Barney Fife. His name is David Browning. Yeah, you know, they, they would every year they would have this contest, just like they do with the Hemingway contest in, in the Keys. They would do this with, at the Mayberry Cafe. They would have this look-alike Barney contest. And, and the, some of them were just spitting images. I mean, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, but it was cool. It was just really a fun thing. They had a, a festival that, you know, when they had that, and, and they had a lot of things going on in town that year. Geez, Amy has got the time and date for everywhere around the United States where that solar is going to be. Yeah, wow. Uh, Dallas, Texas, 1.42 p.m. Citable, Oklahoma, 1.47 p.m. Like I said, they've been shown on the arc on the news, and they, they've had the times on it where it's supposed to be. That's called the line in the sky. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. NASA is launching three rockets during the eclipse. after 2 o'clock, you need to wrap this up. Oh, okay. Well, well, guys, I guess we're going to have to go. I, I mean, it was uh, it was interesting. We loved having Kevin and, and Karen here, and we know they're going to enjoy You ain't got anything home. to tell them? Um, not a whole lot this week, but uh, the Buffalo Market uh, will be at Middleton on Saturday, and that's, um, that's put on by your the school in Middleton. And they, um, they're going to have 50 vendors down there. And, and they will also have school tours for it's a first-come, first-served basis. So it's kind of cool if you want to see the new school. 
uh, and nice and, and help out the kids because the, the money from, from the market goes back to the school. Um, and let's say Wednesday's market night at Lake Sumter, but I got a feeling with the rain here, we're not going to have that. Um, and then Art Attack is on Saturday the 6th from 10 to 3 at Everglades. And I said, you can see a lot of art projects. So that's something to do. Real quick, Pirate Henry, that's not true. You only need a CDL if you have a commercial license plate. It has to be 26,000 pounds or more. Other states have talked about it, but they can't do that because uh, they're not going to do that. So don't worry about your RV. Mm. Okay. Amy Kay, she's moving to the villages in the fall. Well, good for you, Kenny. Come on down. Um, okay. Are we done? Yep. Yeah. Anybody want this Villages magazine this month? The picture on the front shows the old, I guess they had a car show or something. It says car culture. That's oh, what yeah, and the, all the articles in there is all about the, um, all the antique cars they have here. Very cool. I mean, first, they have more car clubs here. I first one, it emails me your address or wherever you want me to mail this to. And listen, if you're a villager, don't ask for this magazine because you can get off your dead ass and go down the road and get your own magazine. Yeah, it, it comes in the, in the paper every month. Yeah, it comes in the you paper. You go to, go to Ollie's Ice Cream. What, what is it now? It's Ritter's. Ritter's Ice Cream. There's a whole stack of them out in front of the most door. Of the, most of the groceries have stands that have them in them, and too. And Publix, I think, gives them away. Yeah, it's in most they? of the stores. Yeah. They have a stand so, out. So let's save these for people that don't live here that want to get information, and we'll mail it to them. So yeah. if you and want these this, are great magazines. I love the color in the, yeah. the, this magazine. is so colorful. It's really, really pretty. Robin, um, if you're watching, mail me your address real quick, and I'll mail it to you. Her and her husband, I don't want to live here, and they need the information. So. Right, right. Anyway, first one that emails me, whoever you are. If you don't hear from me, you're not it. So, <laughs> so whoever the first one is, I, I always mail it to you that it's on its way. Yeah, so see y'all. Um, you know, oh, wait a minute. I got to get out of Wait a minute, I gotta get out of here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he was kind of stuck in his chair. So. But he's about halfway out of the chair. Yeah. Well, I said, take care during these storms, guys. Be careful. And we'll see you next week. Yeah, at least all the mics